Going live, going live. Go we have to make sure. What's today? All right, here we are. Morning thoughts, morning thoughts, morning thoughts. Shout out to Say Ben TV. Shout out to Miss Golden Robinson for being the first one in. Shout out to Julie Tapper. Shout out to the people going out to work this morning. Shout out to the people coming in from work this morning. Extra, special, big up, shout out to the people who work multiple jobs. I have the utmost respect for you. Shout out to my entrepreneurs, my stay-at-home moms and pops, my retirees. Shout out to the drivers. Shout out to the Uber driver, Lyft driver, truck driver, taxi driver, food delivery drivers, round town and long distance truck drivers. Shout out to the crossing guards. Shout out to the school teachers. Shout out to students going out to school. Shout out to law enforcement personnel, medical field personnel, payroll attendees. Shout out to the secretaries in the offices. Shout out to the chefs in the kitchen. Shout out to whatever your job description is. Shout out to you. Shout out to the AC techs. Shout out to the security guards. Shout out to the people that have been at the call centers. Shout out to, shout out to every single clean-hearted, good-hearted person who wants good for others as much as you want good for yourself. On, on a day like this, we normally say, it's the freaking weekend, baby! <laughs> clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. I hope I'm Friday for real. My phone, my phone and my computers are not saying Friday. It just says April 5th, 2024. So I hope it's Friday for real. Um, yes, it's Friday. One of my phone them says Friday. It's Friday. All right, here we are. I hate to do that. And then somebody says, so flow, it's Thursday, Friday or tomorrow. So here we are with a lot to give thanks for, right? It's Friday, Madrid, King, King David. Thank you. We made it through another week. My voice sounds better. I got I got a lozenger in my mouth. I'm gonna take it out in a minute. Come I mean, I wanna talk with the candy in my mouth. But yeah, my voice sounds better. I'm getting stronger day by day. Still have this lingering cough thing going on though. Boy, I may mean, I deal with it still, you know? That's just life. That's how it goes. So here we are on this beautiful Friday morning. And with a lot to give thanks for. Seeing um festive Friday. Mark Mervin the point Jamaica Kerr says. Festive Friday. First of all, a couple of people been asking me, so we have to start out like this. So, Flo, could you please put the light, the number up again for the light lady? If you watch my videos to the end, because I usually put them in the end, but I'm probably going to start putting her com her commercials in the middle or at the beginning. Their commercials. Uh, it's a business, Soninka Limited. Soninka Limited um, that's the people with the lights. And they have people in Jamaica underground who will go and set. So if you buy one of these lights for granny, and granny live way down so, they have somebody that will go there, they will set the light up for grandma, and they will teach her how to work it with the remote control and these kind of things. It's those big, bright solar lights powered by the sun. Um, and they also now have inside ceiling lights that are powered by sun. Solar lights for the ceiling inside of the house. You don't have to be without light. And you know, sometimes light gone, you might not have to be bridging light and waiting for um, a hide from what them people they call again. Yeah, the JPS people them and police, Kaya Thief Light, you can actually have light inside of your house that's solar. So, again, another innovation that I think is dope, right? We're not waiting on anybody to light up a place for us. It's modern times now, and we can do it this way. So, reach out to Soninka Limited. I will put their information up again. They're dealing with the street lights first. The street lights are bright as hell. If you've seen the video, the commercials, then you will see what I'm talking about. I've been running them for a while. I'm going to start putting them uh, throughout the video. May I tell you from now? Because some people, when I do a story and I put it in the middle, them say, Chum and so flow, you couldn't put it at the end. The story, I get interesting and then, bam, you just break it in the middle with a commercial. So, can't please everybody. But I need more people to be seeing these lights because I really believe in these lights and I really believe that using these lights will bring good to you, right? Right. Remember, I know a country me come from. Up which part me come from still dark. Them still don't have no street lights up there, so all these things. So we helping ourselves. Moon Pond Stick 
is what Vicky did call it, right? Vicky Victory called it a moon on stick because it bright up the whole area. So you can bright up your streets and lanes and avenues and backyard, bright up your farm and all these things. You don't have a GPS bill to pay because it's powered by the sun. And also now, again, them have inside lighting for the interior of your house, which is dope. See? No more teething and bridging light. You can <laughs> Mm. With that said, I'll put their number up uh, and pin it as the first comment after this video is done. All right, shout out to Salinka Limited. Here we are on this beautiful Friday morning again. Bujabantan breaks his silence following the death of his 20-year-old son. If you look at the icon for this video this morning, you will see that handsome young man that's um, he's the same age as my son. You'll see that handsome young man right there. Boy, I look like Bujo when Bujo did young, but no mistake that was his child, boy. But, you know, um, what we would like to address, though, is how Bujo broke his silence and then what people are saying. And we feel the need to address something concerning that, right? And then we have another topic here where Shaggy, was on a world platform, uh, according to World Music Views. Shaggy made a statement and cleared old school dance hall dead. Well, he didn't say it was dead. He said it's over. That era is over. Um, a lot of people have beat him about it, so we're going to put that into perspective. And then there's a young lady whose name was Shanika Gray. I don't know if you remember Shanika Gray. We have been following this story. We have been following the court case, trying to get some justice for Shanika Gray. She was the young lady who the boy gave his money to a woman, a girl, a girlfriend that he was seeing. And the female didn't want him as a man for herself. She wanted to use him because him come like Claffy with the money upon him for it. So after she took his money, she didn't want anything to do with him. He got mad. He said, somebody have to go pay for this. Call me hurt. I told me hurt, somebody have to pay. What he did was he took his car, went out on the street, pretended to be a taxi, and there was little Shanika Gray coming home from a funeral, right? And she jumped in the car thinking it was a taxi, said where she needed to go. She never got there. And he videotaped and he murdered her gruesomely and his counterparts have also confessed and you know backed up the story as how it went so that's the update to shanika gray's story so everybody is on the same page well things are unfolding right now in the court so we're gonna go up to date with the shanika gray story and uh the woman who threw the baby off the roof we're, we're going to talk about that as well. There's an update to that. And let me see what else we have. Yeah, that's it for this morning. So we have quite a few points of discussion this morning. Uh, before we go into all that, though, Moa start out frivolously, and then I'll go into the Bujabantan stuff. Frivolously, like this. I saw a lady, right? A sister put up a video. And I'm, I'm guessing most of you might have seen this video. It's gone viral. She put up a video on social media where she says that the guy who she was supposed to meet for dinner decided to not pay for the dinner it, because she didn't look like what she looked like when he slid into her DM when he spoke to her online, when he FaceTimed her, and now she show up at the restaurant looking completely different. So my question is, <clears throat> should a man pay for dinner still if the woman shows up looking nothing like what she looked like when you slid into the DM or when you spoke to her FaceTime? You know how things go already. It's modern day now, right? So for those of you who don't know, 
you 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 scroll in Instagram or whatever, you see somebody you like, you're like, damn, she's sexy as hell. And then you notice that damn, she's in my area too. So you go bam bam bam. I'm not talking by experience because I don't do it. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying this is how it works. And then you go uh go into her DM, hey, how you doing? And she like, hey, how you doing? You like, yes, she answer back. So what's up? Blah blah blah. You married, da da da. You know, you get a little sweet talk and everything else and the formalities skip that quick. Uh, modern day now, nobody no deal with formalities no more. Give me some front. You go right to the topic. Yeah, you want to go out for dinner? What you doing this weekend? Blah, blah, blah. Them get to that. And you're thinking all along because you don't scroll like 100 pictures already, right? And everything is filtered and nice looking and she's living her best life. You know, mostly headshots because you know I show the body. Rukumpum, but she like, and you're like, oh, she's sexy. You know, she look beautiful and stuff. Though. I bet she got a banging body and everything. One body picture that day. And it's a body picture from about 10 years ago when she was like 19, 20, right? And the body picture was when she was really in shape. And now she is like way really out of shape kind of thing. She's morphed into a different person. You don't know that though. Because the face still look attractive. She shows up for the date. And she rolls into the building. Rolls into the building. She come in with cornrows, unkept cornrows. Hey, I'm Jessica. You paying for the date? You staying for the date? Should he pay for the date? Should he stay for the date? Or should he leave? That's my question. I'm going to want to say something. That's why I'm asking this question this morning. Kaita Ajay Empress says, them filters. Mary James says, yes, he invited her out or is. So he should pay for the date because he invited her out. Uh, but Missy Bram Bram says, so me talk to your FaceTime in my wig. Then we meet up and you see my bald head. Oh, la. <laughs> <coughs> meet up. Meet up. I see the real you. Right? Afternoon, so floor and everyone else on the platform, all the way from England, 5063, big up yourself. Why sit and eat? Just go, says Pauline Graham. Julie Tapper says, yes, he should still pay, even though he don't still be friends. Ah, pass, my God. King, <laughs> King David says, it's a hard pass. Peace, I'm out. Wait there. Hold on there. Good morning. Good morning. Devin Gale. Big up yourself. Kaz Robinson says, out of there. Karen Notis says, no, she's a different person, right? Mervyn the Point, Jamaica Kerr says, uh, <laughs> come go up. Let me see. Uh, Marilyn Grant says, me too, five years, six, three. Marilyn James says, Mary James says, yes. Or is he basing something off of her looks? He said in her DM and got fooled. All right, listen. What I wanted to see what the reaction was, right? And I, 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 I was expecting most women to say, "Yeah, if you're a gentleman, you would still pay for the date, let her down easily, and just go, or just don't eat, right? Just say, hey, you're not who I see. Honesty can be brutal, right? And you see a person like me." People will mistake my honesty for disrespect sometimes, but it's just honest because I feel like if you tell the truth from the beginning, then you don't have nothing else to lie about, right? And we cut it right there and it's done. So I would show up, of course, because I'm expecting to see this beautiful, sexy lady that I'm thinking things can go further with, right? Whether it's going to turn out to be a quick smash or it's going to turn out to be something lasting. Let's find out. It's exciting. We're out here dating. And you show up, rump in skin, looking different than anything. The first thing I'm letting you know is this. No disrespect. And I don't want you to feel bad. You look nothing like what I saw online. You look nothing like the person I FaceTimed with even. I'm not going to stay for this date. And I don't want you to take it the wrong way. But seeing you now, I could tell you straight up that you're not my type. And leave it right there. That just it that. So that way I don't have to worry about if I should pay for dinner. We can't go eat by myself and not worry about 
what I got to order for somebody else. And if I have to pay, while she over there full her belly, you are t- you thinking to yourself, I wonder if I'm here, I figure pay for that. Yeah, I can't enjoy my meal like that. I would have told her straight up from the beginning, but she said he decided he wasn't going to pay for the meal because she didn't look what she... <laughs> now, she got a video that's out, and I'll be honest with you, if you showed up to a date looking like this, you have no respect for me, period. I wasn't worth you putting yourself together because I you know a woman stay up. When woman want to see man where them really want to see. Some woman will even point you out already from beginning. I said, boy, it's been a long time. My aisle I ride me. You know, me know I said this wrong and everything, but I'm actually hoping that him pass first base and go second base today. I hope him real forward because I'm sexy. Me like him, you know. And she start shave all her front and them something that shave her armpit, shave her leg, them. She let the show off about one hour. Just a shave and fix up. She'll go through extra length. She make sure hair get done from half a week before. She do all that, right? That's a woman that really want to go see a guy. So if you show up to a date with me and you show up looking like you just roll out of bed and you're like, oops, my hair look bad. So let me just put on one tie head or head tie, however way you want to say it. And me just drag this a piece of something that come with me. You look like your attire ain't together. Nah. Listen, we, um, you're not my type. I apologize. I don't want to hurt your feelings. You know, we'll, 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 peace. I'm out. Live on the air with SoFlo. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> Good morning. So I'm at work, so I can't um, stay too long. Mm-hmm. But we have to call Panda one year. <laughs> no, this woman catfished the man. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the man shouldn't have to pay for no meal. She's a deceiver. All right. She pure deception, right? This was if it was me. Me not pay for no meal. All me right. Gone. Puss in a bag. See it there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She gave me six for a nine, man. That is what my Trini Bridget would say. She gave me a six for a nine. She's a pussy in a bag, right? I ain't paying for that. I don't want it either. But shout out to y'all, because, um, and y'all ladies, y'all need to stop doing this. Them filters be heavy. And what I realize is we've actually gone into a generation of, I shouldn't say a generation of, because all the women are doing it from all different generations. We should actually say we've gone into a time where, People are actually starting to believe that their filtered self on IG is their actual self. Missy, women are tell man about them ugly. You're not even my type. You, who wants you? You ugly anyways, right? And then when you go look upon she, right, she is, you can't find not one, not even one picture of her regular self. You know, the hair is weave and wigs. The face is heavily made up. Plus a big filter upon it and all these other kind of things. And they, trust me, they look completely different once you take those filters off. So, and I think filters are, I think filters are damaging to the psyche. Because filters give women a false perception and they start to not like how they actually really look. If you ask them to do videos with no filter, they would rather not do videos at all. You know? The Lulu, Pauline Graham. Yeah, you're made up, you're filtered up, and y'all call people ugly. Hey, man, we know how you really look. Okay, take off the weave, and we know what we're going to see under it. We know how you actually really look. We know, say, your skin full of blemishes. We know, say, your, your spotty, spotty face. We know, say, all of that. Somebody will love you just the same, just for all that. Take off all that, though. Take off all that, though. And another thing, I remember a comedian saying, some of y'all, man, if you get lost or somebody kidnap you, take you away, if you get on some wanted poster like we have to try to find you, we're going to have a hell of a time finding you because you don't have not one picture out there of your regular self. Everything is you filtered up. If the people them with teeth you, strip you down because they're not going to take the time to filter you and make you up and all that. If them strip you down to your normal self, we'll walk right past your outer road. She not missing, that ain't who we looking for. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she not missing, that ain't who we looking for. That's the victim. That's who we need to be finding. But she don't look like what her IG look like. Yeah? Them big like Bobby cartoon. The eye, them big like Bobby cartoon. The eyelash, them long like John Crow wing. The eyelash, them, I don't even know how they keep up some of them eyelashes sometimes. 
blood fire. The eyelash is what kills me. You know, the heavy makeup, the uh, and the filter, the filter. Girl have rosy cheeks. You know, I'm like, you, you're a dark-skinned black woman. You don't have no damn rosy cheeks. Rosy cheeks is for them white people who live in the cold places, right? And they always have the rosy cheek. Them, What you are doing with rosy cheek? You chestnut brown. What are you doing with rosy cheeks? We don't have rosy cheeks. <laughs> them have rosy cheeks. Y'all full of freckles. Where you, where you get freckles from? So that's what we're looking for when we're looking for you. And a man might see that and he's like, believe it or not, men like different things and weird things. It might just be your freckles that the brother said, oh, damn, beautiful eyes. Man, she got some beautiful eyes. Look at her lips. Sexy as hell. And I love her freckles right here. The eyes filtered. The lips filtered. The freckles not real, filtered. So when you show up for the date, the three things where the man attracted to, where he's looking to see, he not even care if you drag slippers or socks come at the date. Just have the same eye them, have the same freckles them, and have the same lip. That's it. That's all we are looking for. You know? We're not asking for you to glam all the way out. We're asking for you to just show up with them. See them three something that we're attracted to. And you show up with none of them. I'm not paying for nothing. I'm sorry. I got to go. But we could keep it kosher, though. You don't have to really hurt people's feelings. Even though sometimes when you tell the truth, you end up hurting people's feelings. Because some people can't take the truth, you know. Once you tell them the truth, rah, 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 <laughs> they, they will have fight you because them soul can't take the truth. Don't be like that. So I'm encouraging the brothers them. Let them down easy, Papa. Nobody, nobody embarrass her. Somebody daughter too. Yeah? The men also like the false body. I don't know why women keep saying that. I don't know what. Listen. We don't like it. On behalf of 90% of men. May I say 90% to you know. On behalf of nine, and I'm bold enough to say on behalf of about 90, 95% of men, we don't like it. I don't know. You know, they were doing a study, right? And the interviewer kept asking women and kept asking men. What do you think men like? Do you think men like the BBL bodies or do you think men like a natural body? Ask the woman. The wo Every woman almost said, oh, for sure, they like the BBL bodies better. Every man said. Nah, I prefer a real body. See, what women are going off of is what they see us looking at. Hmm. We go to the circus. We look at the clowns and all the other attractions. Doesn't mean we want to marry them and take them home. You know what I'm saying? We have a look, but that's it. We don't want it. We don't want to marry it and take it home. We don't want it to be ours. We actually prefer real bodies. Men prefer real bodies. Yeah. Uh, another thing is most of the women that I see doing their bodies, like them, it's, it's usually women who really can't even afford to do their bodies. That's be that be doing their bodies. They must scrape up the money to get her from somewhere. You know, you know when you're doing okay financially, where you could be like, eh, I could drop a twenty grand on this, and I may not even feel said that twenty grand they're missing. That's when you're doing good financially. If you could pull out $20,000 right now and just dash it and you don't feel like you miss anything, you're doing good financially. Majority of the women who are doing their bodies are not in a position to dash out 20 grand right now and be like, eh, it was like spending a dollar. I didn't miss anything. You know, the 20 grand will come right back. Most of them are not. Most of them are struggling to scrape money together to go do that. And then when they do it, I could see if you were doing it, and then it was going to land you like some top corporate CEO entity, some mega multimillionaire who is going to be yours exclusively. And he's going to start a life with you and marry you and keep you for wife for the rest of his life and all these things. And that's not what happened. They really scraped this money together and then them got spread out themselves for Brock and Brocker. Or somebody who just wants a fun time. I want to pump it and dump it kind of person. What would you doing all that for? Because the guy who actually really wants you, like a guy who would really want to spend the rest of his life with you, 
who really would want to be with you, care about you genuinely for you with all your flaws and everything else, him no want that. If he don't want to squeeze your breast and feel something slide go over there. So he's like, what the fuck? I want this. Squeeze the next one and something slide go that way there. Now you have two ping pong balls in the middle of your chest and you're too flat titty over here. So and you have to like adjust your breast back into place because your implants, well, don't squeeze them too hard. You know, it's the same thing for women with hair. I tell women this a lot of times. Love when you put your weave on and your wig on. I just don't like when you do it all the time to the point where we don't know what the hell you actually really look like with your real hair. Because here, if me I do it from the front or from the back, for some reason, me I go find hair, right? If me want to grab hair and me want to pull hair, the last thing me want hair is, no, 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 don't, don't do that. It, it, you got to mash up my vibes, my friend. But backers, you want to grab some hair, you can't pull it here. Vop, weave come off in your hand. The whole wig come off in your hand. Or you pop out two strands of weave. Or shit that they talk about. You're going to have to get my hair done after this. Because you done messed up my hair too. Like, no, wow, well, you're real here. Right? Men prefer real. Trust me. Live on the air with SoFlo. Good morning. Morning, SoFlo. Morning, family. How are you doing? Good. Denise from Toronto. All right. So what? Uh, Denise from Toronto. Hey, Denise, what's going on from Toronto? Big up with Toronto family. Talk to you, Denise. So, so what about the woman them wear? Put on the fake breast, put on the fake bottom. Mm -hmm. And then when the man take them home, then drag off the fake breast and drag off the fake bottom. That's an aesthetics. That's that we can deal with that. You, you are talking about the yes, one. Sir. You talk Some about like, can't deal with that, you know, because they think it's all real. Yeah, but, you, well, see, you have to tell the man that, right? And we cool with that. If you if you tell a man, say, hey, you know them padded panties and say, come on. Y'all be talking about everything else. If you're if you're going to get to the point where you're both forgive the man some crutches, you might as well say something about your fake drawers and your, <laughs> and your fake bra. Because that's way more uh, intimate, what, what about you know? <laughs> Yeah, but what about the one with the fake pum pum print too? Hey, that's all aesthetics. I could work with that. You know, most men could work with that. It's all aesthetics. It's just like makeup. But you don't have to tell me about the makeup. We see it up front, right? But it's just like makeup. Every woman that you see that's fully made up when you go out and you see her, just know she look a little bit different when you go home. Some of them look a lot different when you go home because some of them are actually artists. Them drawing one whole different face, right? But we can deal with that to a certain degree. Because <laughs> I seen some, I seen some makeup that right? a different person. But yeah, man, the, the, the stuff up panty and the stuff up bra and the stuff up front, that can work. It, it's not wrong with that. <laughs> big, all right, sorry. Big, big up yourself. <laughs> Don't don't go chopping up, don't go chopping up your body. Don't go chopping up your body. If I that you want to do and that I go do it for you, then do that. But don't go chopping up your body because it's not like you know you put in that implant there, you start a whole process. It's much easier to just take it off. You go out, you get the you get the desired effect, and then you go home and you go back to being yourself. That's cool. That's cool. By the way. I'm not encouraging you to go out, go pick up man, uh, end up in a man bed the same night who didn't know that. So say, for instance, right, me and my woman are go out for the evening. If she have them kind of things there, padded this and padded that, and we, we say, because I'm that kind of guy, we say, we are going this evening, right, a traffic, a traffic blocking we are dealing with this evening. We are going this evening for look good. We are going this evening for pass look good. We want to shock some people. We want a man turn and do three tech when them see the front and when them see the back. And, but both of us know what it is, right? Both of us know what it is. So it could even be fun. It could even be fun. I tell you, put yourself like that and then deceive a man and then end up in a man bed at night time. I don't like those kind of women anyways, right? <laughs> but hey, if it, it's your life to live, if you are uh, walk around collecting spirits and um, exchanging energy and all these things 
then you go right ahead. That's your do. I, I, I just, and that's not what I'm encouraging. That's not what I'm encouraging. But it could be something fun. Just like when your wife make up her face and put on one new wig and something like that and a new outfit you never seen before. She just look like a whole different person to you, right? Right. Same thing. She can't add the rest of the aesthetics to it. Pan up the panty, buff up the front, all these things. In your mind, when you're getting some later, you're still going to think it's the same buff up front anyways. So <laughs> it, would, it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter. That's different, but meeting a new man, that's a no-no. Yeah, Vicky, but when you meet a new man, you're not supposed to end up in new man bed same night. And that may I try to tell you. And then by the time you end up in a new man bed, new you and new man should have been on a level already where we know certain things about each other. It's sad. We end up in each other's beds knowing nothing about each other at first. You know? It's like that's how we reach now. We I know sex come first and we figure the rest out later. You know, that that right there. I'm not encouraging that. Cause that's a dangerous living. See, not saying I've never done it. I'm just saying I'm not encouraging it because it's dangerous living. I'm not sitting on a high horse and holier than thou art. I'm just saying that I, I wouldn't encourage it because it's dangerous living. Yeah, we, we, you're supposed to know somebody, you know. Think about this. The most intimate thing you can do as a woman, take off your panty, spread your leg them wide open, and make a man jam out your miggle. Why wouldn't you take the time to get to know something about this person first? Establish some kind of relationship and a rapport first. Exchange some vibe on a different level first. Why would you want to go straight from, oh, me just meet you, to boom? And then now, um, where do we go from here? What are we now? Kind of thing. What, do we, we be doing it backwards. We be doing it backwards. Shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. That's different. But me to the man, Vicky says, Pauline Graham says, so many Miss Piggy look alike. Why? Please, sisters, be yourself. Miss Piggy look alike. Remember what Miss Piggy used to be made up in, in um, I walk with Kermit the Frog in on Sesame Street. Karen Notice says, women who have buff front don't show it. I saw. Vicky Victory says, I know that. Be glad me all. Miss Brown Brown says, Miss Sister says, be glad me all. I don't know how go on within myself, but me glad me all. Sometimes me have to really I look like, mm, mama 55. She out here acting brand new like she 25. And then the filter them for IG have her really acting brand new and feeling herself like she 25. Wait there. You ever the part IG, I used to see the older woman them I talk about this guy, twenty, this twenty-five-year-old guy, tried to talk to me. You should see the look on his face when I told him I'm actually fifty-five. <laughs> I'm like, stop it, please stop it, because you remove that filter there. I thought you were sixty. Stop, and 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 it might be a healthy-looking sixty, but it. That 25-year-old did not think you were 25. Stop. Okay. I know you like to be flattered. I know you like <laughs> I know you like to be flattered. I know you want something to boost your self-confidence. But um that 25-year-old young man did not think you were his age group. Him, him no. Him no. The neck don't lie. The elbows don't lie. The kneecap them don't lie. There's so many things that don't lie. That they can tell. Even the movements don't lie. You be moving when you're older. You thinking you're moving like young people. And you not. Yeah, move on a stick. But you can't see the stick. <laughs> you can't see the sticking. <laughs> you're moving and sticking. But you can't see the sticking. You understand? What, what my son said. Uh, My younger sons. Jaden and Kosi. <laughs> Jaden and Kosi said. My older son, Farai. Them said, Far oh, Farai. Farai is far as young old bro his his birthday is coming up next he said they said far as young old you know how i know i died laughing in the living room last week when they said it right before them could even tell me why 
I said, he said, I said, how you know? I, why, what you mean he young, old? They're like, dad, he, said, he says the same kind of jokes that you do. I, I'm like, what the f So what I try to say? Me tell old people joke. He was like, yeah, but I don't know. He like, he got the same mannerism and he tell the same jokes that you do. So even him is disconnected from his 16-year-old, 17-year-old brothers. And he's 20 with 21, right? So that's what I tell you. A 25-year-old, don't look at your 55-year-old self. I think y'all know 25. They know. You, your, your hips don't glide like they used to, okay? Your movements ain't as smooth as you think they are. You not the same. You just think you the same still. It's like them old people trying to cross the road. You ever see them? And them hit the stop button for the traffic stop. And then when the traffic stop, they be going. And they think they can make it to the next side. Especially in New York. I used to see this all the time. Holy Pass Street for cross. And they over there like this. And the light done went amber. And the light done come back to green for the car them go. And they stuck in the middle of traffic and they like this. Like trying to make it across. Trying to make it across. I got this. I got this. I got this. You don't have the speed no more. You tell yourself, say, I could cut cross real quick. Boom, bang, bang. You trip and drop in line, middle. Somebody run you over. Or you stuck in the middle and you can't. You like. In your mind, you move fast. In your mind, I'm 19. I'm fast as hell. When I used to run track and field, hell, I used to do hurdles. I'm, I'm what? You can't, can't catch me. But it, your body is not moving with your mind no more. You understand? So you're, you're reach at that place there in life now. The body don't move with the mind anymore. So you can fool yourself all you want to. You don't look no 25. You don't look 35. You don't even look 45. You look right up there where you say you're at. Right, and take off the heavy filter then because you don't carry a filter around with you in person in real life. That part. Anyhow, we want a sugar mama, Vicky says. He wants a sugar mama. Exactly. And me no know, the woman them feel like said them, I ain't beating y'all up or nothing. Cause I'm beat up man all the time. But the woman them, the, the, the older ones, they feel like young man want them just for them. No, ain't no young man. I'm a man. I'm telling you this. Ain't no young man out here sitting around saying, I want an old woman that I could take home to my mama. I want a woman my mama age that I could take home to my mama. He already knows it's not going to sit well with his mom. You know what I mean? <laughs> Live on the air with SoFlo. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Sofa. Good morning, family. How you doing? I, I had to call in <laughs> when come. you're talking about the movements. Yeah. Because even me, I'm on in time. Mm -hmm. I run for the train. Mm -hmm. Back then in my 20s, I fly up two flights of steel. Aye. Zoop, 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 zoop. <laughs> no when the train I come, mm -hmm. see me now? Lord God, the next <laughs> one that I come. We can't make that one day. <laughs> so it's so true. It's so true what you said about the move. Yeah. Movement. <laughs> I had to call in for, the, Thank for this you. one. Because this one is for me. Thanks for the <laughs> confirmation. Make them know. All right, so fluid. All right, family. Big up yourself. Big up yourself. Okay. All right. Yo, you see what I say? Yeah, man. She said in her 20s, she fly up two flights of steps. Bam, bam. Trailer come. Ah, ah, ah. You reach up there, you don't even blow hard. For more than two seconds, <sighs> two deep breaths, back your cardiovascular back to normal. Try that now. Your trip on the first set of step, then you try to jump over one step. You know, when you used to run up steps, you used to run and skip all four or five steps one time. And so you used to reach up there fast, right? Try to skip four or five steps. Your eye don't even look the same no more at the ground. You skip four or five steps, your foot don't remember which part for go down. Are you. <laughs> You, you end up tripping. Wonder why so much people drop on the step them. Them that they are trying to go on like them young. Let me jump over these five steps real quick. Ah, ah, ah. Next jump. Ah, miss everything. Your, your eye them just show your beer blurry. All the steps became one big step. You don't know. Where if you put your foot, you drop. Yeah. So a true man. Well, you go on act your age. But back to the older woman them now. Them feeling like, oh, these young men. Oh, he wants me. I saw one doing a show the other day, um, uh, some talk show stuff. She was like, let me tell you something. 
None of these young girls could compete with me. She was like 55, 56 something. She said our man is 32 or something. She was like, none of these young girls could compete with me. He comes home to me every day. And he comes home to me, baby. She jump up and did a split. And I thought that was so random. That's the first thing I thought was like, see, a young girl wouldn't just do that split just like that, right? We would automatically assume she could do something close to a split if she young. But because you're so old, you yeah, try to act like, let me show you why a 32-year-old want me. You jump up and do a split. She have on some tights, right? She's like, and the other girl, the other woman, them is like, ooh, Charlie, you flexible? She's like, yeah, and that's why he come back to me. I'm full of tricks. And let me tell you something. My bag of tricks, honey, by the time I'm done running through this bag of tricks, them young girls, it's going to take them years to catch up to this bag of tricks. And by the time they catch this bag of tricks, I got a whole new bag of inventions. Just stop. 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 A young man that is 32 years old, he's a straight heterosexual man. Imuanta Uman that can give him children, that he can see himself in. Ooh, that's my junior. Man, look how my daughter look like me. Ooh, look at my son. That's my mini-me. That him want that. Him want a woman where can build with him. Him, him want. And, and nature made it so that older guys can still do that with young women. Like I told you all before, right? A old man can still make baby, you know? Yeah. I want most women looking for financial security. They're looking for maturity. All that. Who mature like a 99 year old man? Go take him, him all. Him not, nothing where you say I go bother him. Half away you say him can't hear anyway. Right? Perfect example. The old dead. So, hey, you go find something to do. I don't know how you go handle a partner. But every now and then him get a rise. You handle that too. The bank account full. The house is big. You know, life is good. We can't go have him children. Nobody, ain't no, ain't no young man out here looking for no old senior citizen woman talking about, oh, I want her to have my children. And uh, have what children? You pass childbearing age, first of all. <laughs> it's, a, it's not ideal. It's not, I'm not saying you can't get pregnant old, but it's not ideal. Live on the air with SoFlo. Good morning. So good morning. How are you? Good morning, family. How are you doing? I'm all right. Talk to him, man. Hey, I, I see you painting a picture of an elder person here to act their age. Yeah, all I will need for aqua age. But, Missy, for some reason, I'm already keep on coming to mind. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Golly, Bob, I'm already. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm already at the good still enough. I'm not lying. If Amari would only make music, she would be all right. But she don't make music. She just walk around the whole day. And she. <laughs> She did a little gastric, gastric bypass surgery. She lost a lot of weight, you know, and now she's just walking around all day. I, I don't but, know. But she, she said she's she, the queen she of dancehall. She looks like Adam's family. She looks like Adam's <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it. Listen, the views and um, comments made by, this is my disclaimer, the views and comments made by our callers and our viewers are not necessarily the views of the host of this program. All right. Uh, and we don't normally, uh, we don't agree to everything that's said, but we do have a free speech platform. Can you know, Amara, we come for you. I mean, I want her to come for you and me. She can't come for you. <laughs> she can't right, come for you. Manas. Make <laughs> uh. she come for you alone. I'll come for you, Amara. Amara, me never say nothing. Me say you look good. You just need to stop saying you're a dancehall queen. And you just need to start making some dancehall music. Amari actually made good dancehall music. The other day when she hooked up with Sika Rhyme and do the money laugh something. Ha <laughs> ha! Money laugh something. The money laugh something that was working. But you know, I think Sika Rhyme got in a prison and <laughs> these kind of things. And then Amari, free Sika Rhymes. And then Amari, she, I don't know, can't find another producer. Or she can't sit down long enough to write a song and sing it. Or what the case is. But if you're going to say you're a dancehall queen, you need to be producing dancehall music. And we're looking for her to make some dancehall music. And she's not. She's just walking around and talking every day. But Amari knows why she does what she does. Everybody I do will pay them, you know, and some of mind the business will pay me. Right? 
Right. Amari knows what she's doing. Anyhow, if on the Wallace, <coughs> Amari really look like the coffee waiting for her still. You know what the thing about Amari is? Now that we're on Amari, Amari, I got to trend for you like a five minutes. Hold on. Because me and what you understand how this work. All right? I don't know. Disrespect. Amari, when Amari was fat, let me used to laugh after Amari a lot. And I used to see the comments and I used to think some of these comments are so hurtful. Because I'm not the kind of person where hurt people feelings. Like if a woman, if the woman 400 pounds, I'm not the type of person to say, Jesus Christ, you're big like wheel. I, I might think it, but I'm not the kind of person to actually say it. Right? Come and understand that people have feelings. I mean, I know why get are so big. Some people get big because them crib and them cook one whole pot of food for eight people and not sit down in the bed and yam it off by themselves. Some people get big because of some medication them depend on, some type of um, something wrong with them system, something. So I don't know, right? So I never poke fun at her, but I used to always see it. They did it a lot, a lot. And it bothered her so much that she made it a point to go do the gastric bypass surgery stuff. And then she went overboard with the gastric bypass surgery stuff now. It looked like she only eat lettuce. No tomatoes, no salad dressing, no nothing. She just feed pan lettuce because she just withering away. Amari is super thin now. But now that she is super thin, instead of people saying, damn, you lose a lot of weight, Amari, you look good. No. Why? Amari look terrible. She look like Adam's family. She look like, I mean, I don't know if I did boot them what she wear and the makeup and something where them are talk about look like Adam's family. <laughs> she have a kind of gothic look to her. I don't know if that's what they're saying look like Adam's family, but people tease her now more than ever about her skinniness as well. So she, you can't please everybody, my friend. The woman did fat them laugh after her. She get mad and them a laugh after her more, more now. What's she supposed to do? She can't exist in the middle. You know? I don't know. I wish her all the best still. And as long as you're living, and you have to live with your body and living on yourself. So it's the one body God gave us and we use it till it expires. So you have to be <coughs> comfortable comfortable in it. I hope she's comfortable in hers, you know. Well, she seemed comfortable in it because she, she never used to do what she had done now. She be twirling through the malls. Every day Amara gone shopping. I don't buy nothing. Every day she gone shopping. Every day she is in this store and that store and this store, that store and this mall and that. Good for her. Good for her. She was a beautiful woman, but no lie. Not now. No, not likely. Not looking healthy. That tattoo on her forehead looks sick. Sick as in good or sick as in crazy sick? Country girl. Country girl says, that is true, so flow. We should not make fun of people because you don't know if they have a medical issue. Yeah. Um. Now, in saying that, I understand our culture too. Let, let, let me let me <laughs> let me let me put that back. I don't like making fun of people, but as Caribbean people, if you are in the Caribbean culture, and this is for any Caribbean country, your closest people to you will make fun of you, and everybody else by extension will end up making fun of you. You know what I mean? So it's just something that we do, but I just think that with social media now, some people take it gone way overboard. And some people now are able to be vindictive with it on social media as opposed to, you know when them say, is this person laughing with you or is this person laughing at you? You have to try to figure out you know, if people are laughing with you or if they're laughing at you kind of thing. And I think sometimes it's they're laughing with her, but then you can see where they're actually really, really laughing at her. You know what I mean? And why you have to have thick skin for this year? You really have to have a thick skin for this. You got to let some stuff just roll off. Because if you're a person with thin skin and you wake up every day to read these comments, it can be hell on your... your, 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 your how you feel about yourself, right? Your, your confidence levels. 
Live on the air with SoFlo. Good morning. Hey, hey SoFlo. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what I'm going to tell you? Yo, I'm not even listen to your, your thing, you know. I'm not even get no notification that you're the line, you know. Mm. I mean, it coming like, say, YouTuber. Them have an issue with you, you know. Boy, it looks so, you know. But you know what? We just have to keep on doing what we do, man, because we ask for help from how long. Same old story. Them not giving no help. Me vex, me vex, no brother. Yeah, them not giving no help. Even also flow the pan TV. I mean, I don't know what's saying. Even even our comments. Even our comments. Sometimes you know what them I do with you now. A peer commercial I run, you know. Yeah, but me not complain about that, brother. No, I know. You get P and me will leave it. Me will run it again later. Oh, yeah. more time. Me in my backyard, I may clean up. I mm. may make your channel run. And all the commercial them run. I will put the rest of everybody where I listen to me now. Sim. Hear what me I say. Sim. Going out on the yard, if you not have turn on, on the TV and just put it on the man channel and make it run. Yeah, some of them do that already. I may appreciate that greatly, you know? Yeah. Yeah, all man. right, all right, but so flow, so, it's yeah. coming like say them have I agenda against you, you know. Boy, yeah, we don't think about them things that still, you know. We just keep we just keep on keeping on, you know. And what kind of topic you up on today? This man, well, they are talking about how we need for aqua age, man, and how you know the woman them oh, on social oh, media with oh. them heavy filter and stuff. A real talk, you are talking, you know. remember yeah. me tell you, say me a guy yard, right? Yeah. And are you prime me up for go down there? See you. And my brother, I say, yo, me, I say, yo, brother, me not come to no girl thing, you know, me just have come for prayer thing and this. Uh, man says, shut your mouth. Once you're licked with your brother, the two of you know. You not so go for me no me. girl thing? <laughs> no, me not married, you know, so me. That's why me I say, you, all right, you're you not know, married, but you're not going for no girl. I jump me a kind of thing, you know? Yeah. You know, what you must say, you can't keep up yourself. You know them all time talk there? Yeah. Man say you're not going to keep by yourself. Yeah. How you talk to? Yeah. What? Yeah, go and drop your car <laughs> fun, man. Enjoy, enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hey, uh, my link up with um, Bingy to me. I'm Bingy supposed to link up from Jersey. Same. Yeah, all right. Well, all right, my brother. Not say a word. My manners. Yo, them have something against you, you know. Yeah, man, but we now watch that. We know, you know, but we now watch yeah. that. See? Yeah, no. leave it leave it alone. Yeah. Leave it alone. Yeah. All right. All right. Respect. Manners. All right, let me just say this real quick. Me now watch that. Uh, if you walk around every day thinking about all the negative stuff, you will never get to the positive stuff. If you put too much energy into what's not working right, you will forget to be thankful for what is working right and you won't work hard at what is working right. I'm the kind of person, mom, when my mind is locked in on positive, me not hear or see nothing negative. I just go and go and go. And that's what enables me to build and grow and build and grow and build and grow and build and grow. But thankful for life. Sometimes I look at what I'm accomplishing or what I have accomplished, and I'm like, yo, look at you from down at Clarendon. Yeah, you come a long way, you know, man. The mindset the way you have. Yeah, so big up to my people, then my grandmother, they're right. That's some Miss Ruby. Big up Mas Cleavy. Big up my mother, my father. Big up the people that were raised me from Clarendon, the community. We are a different kind of people. We're not dwell upon negativity. So yeah, people have something against you and so flow them. I said this boy you and that the network they are trying to this to your video them and that's the I don't they I may not deal with none of that. I hear what you're saying though. I hear what you're saying though. Right? We just keep moving forward, 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 ever, backward, never. You know who said that, right? All right, forward, ever, backward, never. We just keep moving. One foot forward at a time, regardless of whatever is going on. By the time you look back. You're a hundred steps forward. Keep going again. One foot at a time. Forward, forward, forward. By the time you look back, 200 steps forward. So and that's the mindset right there. See? Back to what we just said now. Uh, Veronica Gill says, YouTube, come on, go with everybody platform. Yeah. We ain't worried about all that. We ain't worried about all that. Remember, I know. We never, we don't pay YouTube to have a platform. YouTube is free for everybody. 
So I'm, I'm happy for the opportunity to actually be entrepreneurial in my spirit to be able to find a platform that could accommodate my entrepreneurship. And then happy enough, again, that I put the work in and it grows and then people gravitate towards it. And then I'm happy that YouTube even recognizes that to where can them have to send you a letter. Them send them one, do this with you, that with you, and the other, and all that. And then you start to build your platform. All these things are like celebratory moments behind the scene that we don't really show anybody. You know what I mean? So me happy for all them something there. So me no business about all the other things that went now and go right. In time, everything will fall into place. That's how I look at life. And nothing happens before it's time. Just keep on keeping on. That's the message. See? All right. Mel Mel, big up yourself. Mel Mel said, you can't reach your driving destination while looking in the rear view mirror. Absolutely. Absolutely. Trini L. Bay says, peace to the gods. But family, just wake up, come work afternoon to early morning. Shout out to the people going out to work. Shout out to the people coming in from work. Extra special big up to the people who work multiple jobs. I have the utmost respect for you. Yeah, man, that part. Yeah, life, right? Mervyn the Point Jamaica Curse says it's rate. YouTube rated to start doing commercials. Exactly. And I'm not complaining at all. Right? Let us ask the audience to work with it. Right? Right. Back to a thing though. All right. We're going to skip that something there. Because I don't want to beat up the ladies them this morning too bad. And then go beat up Amari too bad. Shout out to Amari. Wherever she's at. I love to see us doing us. And I think we need to understand sir, everybody different. You know? But what I would like to say though is this. We're all different people. And us as people need to realize that we are all different people. If you look at your own family, you you, you look at mad cousins, the maddy maddy one, not mad like God in my head, you know, but it could have been that too. But the little maddy maddy one over there, so just eccentric, unique. Everybody have their own personality and them own something and all that. Amari is an entrepreneur herself. I told people this before. Not only that, I tried using her content before. And the copyright infringement um, notification came in so quick. I was like, damn, the only other person copyright infringement come in so quick for me was when I tried to use Bojo Bantan's um, piece of Bojo Bantan stuff before. And it, when you get hit with a copyright infringement, it actually tells you as the creator behind the scenes who owns it and who is putting the strike on you, right? And for Bojo, I believe it was Sony that owned that material. So I was saying, damn, Bojo don't even own that song here. A Sony own it. But anyway, I, I let go of that so I didn't get copyrighted, uh, copyright infringement strikes. And then for Amari own, it says that Amari is the owner of her own stuff. So you're creating your content, you own all the rights to all your material and all that. People can talk, 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 say good, say bad, whatever they must say. Please remember, say, in the world of entertainment, because that's what she's doing. In the world of entertainment, good talk, bad talk, all publicity, good publicity. When people stop talking about you altogether is when you no longer exist. Once they talk, people are going to come look. And once people come look, remember, I know, the world we live in today, you know, click. You could hate that person all you want to. If you ever do, click, you helping to pay that person. Click, you helping to pay that person. View it for more than a couple of seconds, you're helping to pay that person. So all these people who say stuff like, I can't stand that person here. I mean, hate them platform. What you are do over there? Eh? Sometimes I watch them videos still in a car, but me don't know still. Me just still can't stand them. You can't stand them, but you're paying them. That's how it works. See? Uh, big up to Amari, see him, where, man. And everybody else out there that's trying. Y'all heard that? What's her name get locked up yesterday? Side note. Uh, what the girl name? I Ivani, Ivani. I don't too follow up the TikTok stuff because I see some weirdness I go on on TikTok. TikTok look like that I wish part the aquarium bus, and you know the whole of them are flat up on the ground over there. I, I I I went over there. I said I was gonna go to TikTok and I was gonna make TikTok the place where I could be completely unfiltered because I'm I'm filtered here. And I just can't get with the TikTok vibe. But somebody says, so Flo, that's because you don't go live. You need to go live on TikTok. Me no know. It's, it's not feeling my vibe. But I saw yesterday where it says that 
um, Ivani was arrested and uh, went and looked it up and found some paperwork on her. And it also shows that she she's held without bond. Like them not getting no bail. So I don't know what go on this. But you know, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Ivani just had a child, right? And them did say Ivani cross over into America illegally and all these things. Me don't know people's business. I'm going off what the people who follow her says. And her immigration status is not straight, but she's allowed to be here because she's seeking asylum and all kind of something. She went and had a baby in the process. I guess that would solidify or give more reason to her having to be here because she has a child here. It, I don't know. I'm going to send out good vibrations for them and hope she find herself. I said this before. I'll say it again. I've only come from a battered because we saw it, right? Remember, I know I've only get shot up already. You know, man, you want to kill her, Jamaica, you know, all kind of something. And she violated a couple of people and take with people platform and all kind of something. Whether she did it for real or not, it was her name that was on it. She even got locked up in Jamaica and did time in Jamaica. And then next thing we know, she disappeared. And next thing I know, she was in America. And I was like, damn, they gave her a visa that quick? That's why I'm not talking about people because some people might have their papers already but not saying nothing to you. So while you thinking, oh, them there, Jamaica, suffer, them can't fly out, boom, them fly out when they had their papers all along, right? I don't know what her immigration status is personally, so I'm not going to speak on it like I know it, but I did go look up and realize that she is arrested and she, let me see if I can find it. I think I saved it too. She is arrested. She is in custody. Now, while I'm talking this, she might very well be at home looking at me like, what a boy I call up my name. I'm, I bonded out last night. That's why I don't love talking to people things. Inmate detail. Inmate inquiry. Ivani Wright. Demographic. Her name is Ivani Wright. Her subject number is 752-8421. Her female race, black African American, um, booking date April 4th, 2025. Today is April 5th at 12 11 p.m. Prisoner type, it says county. Housing type, housing facility, she is at the Henry County Sheriff's Office Jail. And total amount for her bond or total amount for her bail is at $0.00. .00. Booking origin is Henry County Sheriff's Office. Yeah, and the rest of it says criminal damage to property in the second degree greater than $500. Terroristic threats, acts, one and two. So when them arrest you and them put in, when you see um, $0.00, and zero cents for bond, $0.00, and zero cents for bail, that means uh, you, they not posting no bond or bail for you yet. You are held without bond or bail. When them holy without bond or bail is usually you sit locked up until you go to a court date, right? That's what it means. Um, terroristic threats, acts. We live in Google Day. Go look it up. Terroristic threat acts carry serious charges. Um, that's a serious charge that carries quite a bit of time. And then criminal damage to property in the second degree, greater da damage greater than 500. If we're in all this stuff, you can go look up. Look, I wish I had all the best still. You, man, you know, sometimes it seems like trouble follows some people, but in reality is the people them drag trouble everywhere with them, which part they go, you know? Because some things about you, you have to just change. But some people are not in the business of change. Like, we don't all mature at the same time. Ivani is still very young. So, I mean, I'm throwing no dirty water upon her. She's still very young. But young is not an excuse. Young is never an excuse. Because we're expected to act a certain way, to know certain things. Especially with a Jamaican background. From where, like, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, you know? Them kind of age there. So... Terroristic threats.
Yeah, it's it's not. I just hope she does do better with herself. See, it doesn't matter if the now listen to this. It doesn't matter if the this defendant could actually commit the felony or actually intended to commit the felony. Here, this is how it's worded in this state. It doesn't matter if the defendant could actually commit the felony or if the defendant actually intended to commit the felony, the law don't care. It only matters that the defendant threatened to commit the felony as an act of terrorism. Making a terroristic threat is a felony here that is punishable by up to 20 years in prison and a fine of up to $20,000. You see that? Remember, I'm telling you the other day about the bridging them, the couple of youth them were run up in a somebody house, right? Because somebody told them that a lot of drugs was in there. So them decide them want to be stick up guys today. Yo, yo, son, let's go get this money. Them run up in the house. Three or four of them. One of them is still in prison. And he is in prison for like the next 40 something years. Everybody else already did their time three years, four or five years and got let go. So he was like, this is unfair. We did the same crime. How come they got let go already? And I'm doing like, like I killed somebody. You know what I'm doing? When them get up, everybody in the living room at gunpoint, you see? This man ya take one of the women them from the living room, walk her through the house to our next part of the house. Ah, uh, look up kidnapping and look up what kidnapping in the law definition is. If you move somebody within a certain amount of feet away from where they were at against their will, with force, you were kidnapping. So him get hit with kidnapping charges plus the robbery charges. The rest of them will get hit with the robbery, robbery charges. First time offenders, took a deal, this, that, and the other. Served three, got three to five years. Served three, got out on parole. Him, 40-something years in Mado. You have to be careful. America is a different place. This is not Jamaica. This is not Jamaica. And the thing about America is we full of jail and prison here. So nobody now talk about, oh, the overcrowding. They will ship you to another state. Oh, it's overcrowded in Florida where you at? Yep, that's why you going up north. You will get arrested in Florida, get sentenced to time. And for some reason, you end up in a Georgia, Atlanta, somewhere. Somewhere you end up in a backwoods of Georgia. Somewhere you end up in a South Carolina. Somewhere you end up in a Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama. Them just start ship you all over the place, right? So we don't have that problem like in Jamaica. Oh, it's overcrowded at this particular facility and we have to go let go people early and we can't take your threats seriously. I hope things work out for you, but just that one, just that one, making a terroristic threat, it carries a serious charge here. I don't want to call anybody's name, but somebody else got this charge on them also that is pretty famous within our genre. We don't know who may attack if you if you if you rock your brain, but I just don't want to call up people name this morning. See? So yeah. Criminal damage to property, second degree, and damage greater than five hundred dollars. And then there is the terroristic threat act. Making terroristic threats. I just do not understand why some people want to splash their lives on social media. Here's the thing. The people who support her and others, they are the wickedest. Because you can't see me at the, you, you can't encourage me to do things that you know is could turn out bad for me for your entertainment sake. You know? At some point, somebody have to say, Soflo, listen. You're getting a big trouble for that. You need to stop. And if SoFlo have sense, then we listen to you, right? That's why me, I'm open to listening to everybody. Come, me not know everything. I'm only one person. There are lawyers on this platform. There are doctors on this platform. I stand corrected when I try to um, speak about medical stuff that's outside of my scope of knowledge. I stand corrected when I speak about law stuff that's outside my scope of knowledge. Listen to some of these people. 
But a lot of these people, them only want all them a gear, this and gear, that pan, TikTok, ping, ping, every minute. And they encouraging it. Mash up him car again. Dirty boy. And that me with a dirty girl. Yeah. And oh, shut up. Where have I must say, no, listen to him here. And this and they egg it on and they keep going and they keep going. I call them people that the Duracell people. And them put the battery in your back, right? You ever, you ever, you ever seen <coughs> you ever seen the Duracell bunny that just keeps going and going and going and going? That's them. Them throw that battery in your back. And you just keep going and go. Me no want nobody throw no battery on my back. No. You should be able to slow down and check. Yeah? Okay, I'm stepping over my boundaries. That was a little bit out of line. Sometimes you have to go apologize for some things you said because you were caught up in the moment. And it was wild. And it seemed funny at the time. But it wasn't because you hurt somebody. And this, that, and the other. You have to check yourself. You have to check yourself. This is a place here. America is not Jamaica. It's not Jamaican. Too many of us come here, come find that out the hard way. You know? I'm not wishing nothing bad for her, though. I'm not wishing anything bad for her. I'm wishing and hoping that it doesn't end up with her being... Now, if you think of her immigration status, and you think of... Hold on there. The phone here ring. Wait. Live on the air with SoFlo. Good morning. Peace and love, so far. Manners and respect, family. What go on? No clubs, man. Uh, yeah, man. At least I'm married, man. I marry a man own business. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm married in our own world, yeah. friend. No matter what, she in our own world. She not answer nobody. Yeah, she in our own you world. Because man, let's leave people business. I mean, them at that, but me, me, me nephew, you know, I'm not a son. I'm not a son. I'm not a business. We're not just ready for spread room upon people. Yeah, they all need to stop. Mm, this is a perfect segue because that was actually my number one thing to talk about next this morning. Uh, Buju's son uh, is yeah. your nephew? Yeah. All right. You know, but nobody, everybody I bring out all kind of stuff. They need to stop. If you don't know anything, shut them out. Well, I want to um, contact the rest and dangerous. I was going to address that. Matter of fact, see here upon my paper. Uh, it says, Buju Bantan breaks silence following death of his 20-year-old son, Miles Mary. Post pic of his son. Caption says, sleep in peace, Papa IG. Now, note to self. Address people saying negative things like sacrifice, like you are lacking morals and yes. compassion, et That cetera, is what they're saying, you that's, know? Yeah, Which that is was so my wrong. goal this morning. And that's the negative that. vibes. And I need them to know to stop that. You understand me? Because y'all don't know nothing. Shut y'all. Shut them up, man. Yeah, it's the, it's the wickedness there are bad. people who is mourning. Right, right. People is mourning and y'all coming and saying all these crazy stuff. Y'all don't think it's hurting the family? We see it. Absolutely. Hi, pretty. We see it and we know. You know, you know but not follow no, but me like how you carry your can everything and you make sure you're in, you know what you say. You understand? Yeah. Because the, the media... The internet and all of that, if you watch those stuff, it will mess you up. Absolutely. It will mess you up. You know, I'm just glad you, you make sure so you, you, you know what you say, you understand? With great respect and love. Don't talk what you don't know. Absolutely. I, you know, the world is small for me, you know, because like I tell people all the time. <laughs> when, when, I'm, I'm, I'm boots on the ground so I mean I want to run into nobody friends family members and whatever and they're like yo you're a nasty person why you do my family like that exactly why you, say, you know exactly you, you have to be conscious exactly. of what you are doing out here man I'm gonna no. follow one more um, one guy one next one I'm like him Rick Star I think him name um, oh no another he's another blog, uh, blogger on YouTube me will call him not really tech contents and them something that I don't know where I say, you understand? Yeah. Yeah, we're not take, the, not take them something from nobody where you don't know, you understand? Absolutely. Real talk, man, because Absolutely. it can't just ruin your whole channel. Listen, my deepest condolences goes out, man, because may I tell you, sir, you know, Thank you. Yeah, um, an apparent, but my brother, and I remember I was the one that had to go identify my brother on his 23rd birthday. So, and the, the situation behind that and all that. So, 
regardless of what's going on, I know that hurt is there, right? So now is not the time anyway if it come with big criticism and disrespect and all that. And that's what I wanted to discuss this morning or put out there. Seeing so my condolences goes out to the family. I know that grieving is going on. And I'm just sending waves of tranquility and hope you all can get through this and be okay at some point. Right? Let, let me say something to you. When the time comes, it comes. Yes. To, tomorrow, I promise to none away. You understand? Absolutely. So, you know, you know, you never know. I've lost many friends and, and whatever. And, you know, but you don't know when you fear your time. Or call. You can't come out for the phone with me now and you're dead. Yeah. yeah. But stop bring our false um um talk fast of that yeah they, they don't that no, I'm not saying you are but them no know right right stop assume and stop because there are people who is mourning yeah you see it so I'm glad you come out with it and I guess make me, me come out with it before you did ready but but just I say yo no, you come with it at the right time because I'm gonna segue right into it right now. May I have a piece by my chest yeah, that I actually just, really want to get off. Yeah, take it off of your chest. Make your chest digest because people are wicked, bad. Could people come out and say some things? Yeah. And no, no, nobody is saying nothing, but I'm, I speak up for my family. Yeah. Yes. And I said, if tomorrow come, my time come too. Absolutely. Please just address it uh, respectfully. You see it? I will. I absolutely will. Because me not scared. Me call, a second time I call you because I always listen to you. Sometimes I not catch you live, but me I listen because you, you make it make sense. Yeah, manners and respect for and, me. Uh, your voice needs to be heard. Manners and respect. Enough love. Blessings. Blessings. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Say I'm growing up fast. I'm dancing now. Yeah. I do ballet and tap. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I got a lot of energy. And my daddy's princess. <laughs> Bib. You can't hear me? You wanna go mommy? What was that? That's Bob Marley. Bob Marley on my shirt. A picture of a guy. Want to take our change up or something? Go, mommy. Go get changed up and stuff. You can come back. You can just go get changed up and stuff. You have burglar everything for your mouth. Mm -hmm. oh, I was using the bathroom. We just hear the door open. Come, mommy. I love you. I want to go to dance. You go to dance today? She have dance today? She have dance today, right? Dance yeah, I have dance. But you get you got to see Nika today. Uh, All your brothers and sisters today. Uh, oh Malani. Look, look. This look, they're seeing you. Uh, okay, Malani. Come ma be up Takar, please. Come on, I love you. Daddy coming. Come. Go mommy. Careful. Uh, uh. Yeah, yeah. Why not? How about it? Lock the door, please. Thank you. Jeez. Yeah. My check one, two, one, two. The can you hear me? Jeez. Yo, <laughs> that's her, you know. Listen, uh, so let's see what I mean when I say I have two little girl picnic and them, they, because I can't say no, and them just get what they want and them use against me all the time. And yeah, that's all they have to do. I'm done. Oh, all right. Get me back on track. Ja, ja. <laughs> Let me take a sip of this water.
Mm. All right. Check it. <laughs> so, all right, let's talk about this, right? Real quick. So that was a family member, Bujabantan family that called in. She's in defense of her family. There's quite a, it's, it's a few things that's being said online that, to be honest with you, man, I find a lot of the stuff disgusting, disrespectful. And, you know, like I was saying to one lady yesterday, what is your point? What is your point? She said, uh, Bujo is lacking moral character and has no discipline and this, that, and the other. And I'm like, okay, it's fine that you want to bash him now. But what is your point? What are you trying to accomplish now doing that now? Because in my mind, this is a time when the family is down. You know what I mean? They lost a valid member of their family. He's down. And, and you're choosing to throw punches and kicks when somebody is down. You know what bugs the out of me? What bugs me is how people get on social media and they seem to have all the answers to everybody's life and everybody's problem. But when you're getting a freedom life, them don't have no solution for them own problems. That bothers me that you are so, you so cold and callous that you feel like now is the time to come say certain things or you say. Yeah? The only thing is dirty. BM, the only thing you're supposed to be saying right now is my condolences. Nothing else. A lady made a video yesterday. Remember what I said? I said, anybody can pick up a camera and make a video and put it on social media. So me, I leave room for escape if even after reviewing what was said in that video. And I also brought it to the forefront that Bujo don't have access to the U.S. And his son was not six and seven. He was 20 years old, right? Um, people have solutions and him should I do this and him should I do that and him didn't do this and him didn't do that yo love that man love that even if you want to say all that now ain't the time now is not the time it's not all I want to know is what good please answer this question what good is going to come out of you saying all that stuff you're saying now. That's all. Answer that one question there for me. Somebody answer that intelligently for me and leave the one good. What good is going to come out of all that way you are saying now? Mrs. Some and some of the people in Uno so wicked. Like everybody is into self, you know. Everybody is into self, as in. Well, and my picnic happened to so me, me, me can't have no feelings towards it. I can't say what me want to say now. But if it happened to you, you wouldn't want nobody saying all that to you. Yeah? Have we forgotten to treat people how we would want to be treated? And them are the basic principles where we grew up with, you know, a basic school. Them teach you that from a drummer kind of treat other people, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. That is as common as how we used to sing national anthem and everything else, right? People forget that. So because I know your family, you know, say what you want to say. I say all kind of, this is some of them pan there talk about, yep, this look like a sacrifice to me. Sacrifice, and the next one, follow it up. Sacrifice him, sacrifice him, son. I'm like, how you fix yourself? As a grown per I'm going to look upon them people here, you know, I'm this kind of person. If I see stuff out of line and you said it, I go straight to your profile first. Because I want to see who you are and why you are. And them have them picture up there and them own family and everything up there. Why you feel like as a grown adult, now is the time for you to say that? Then me see one big long message upon the man something this morning where he is saying R.I.P. Um, him says, sleep in peace, Papa. God knows. Right? That's the caption. And he posted a picture of Miles. One big long paragraph, four, two paragraph long message under there about your words have come back to haunt you. And boom, this is a repercussion for boom, bye, bye. And something. I'm going to move with that, man. I want to be real.
I want to use some real disrespectful language, but I don't want to kill my message, so I don't want to go there. But move with that. Listen, Bojo write Boom Bye Bye and sing Boom Bye Bye when he was a teenager. His son that just passed now is older than he was when he wrote and sang Boom Bye Bye. Bojo today is a grown man. How old is Bojo now? About 50? 50? 51? So you're still in your feelings for something that Ayut did when he was 19, even though the man are 51 or 50. And 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 you also come over here acting like you came with good intentions. Oh, the LGBTQ community is still we're still mourning with you regardless. And we move your blood, move on way. Move. Because now ain't the time. Now is not the time. You understand? The only thing anybody should really be saying now, yeah, you can say, I want to say to the sister that just called, you can't stop people from speculating, my friend. People are going to speculate. Even me speculate. What possibly could have happened, you know? But for people to start spinning narratives, or like some of them Jamaican vloggers, or I call themselves vloggers, that's sent, and I tell my audience about this all the time. They will see something happen. Them take a story, them sensationalize the story and then put it back out there and they get the most views. Here's the real story about what happened to Bujabantan's son. And then when you listen to it, or him get shot 20 times and him did a broken a house and this happened and that happened. Like they'll take a story and the real story is the person got shot once. 45 gunshots, spang shell found outside. The man them did in a this, that and the other and not no go sign up. Stop. Stop. Be considerate. Be considerate as if it was your own family. If anything happened to any of my children right now, I would be losing my friggin' mind, right? So I can only imagine, and I, I, I put that same kind of sentiment towards everybody that is a parent. If anything happens to their child, whether their and them child was close or distant, I'm thinking they're losing their friggin' mind right now. Or they're at least in a state of mourning. So chill with all that. It's unnecessary. No good is going to come of it. The most we should be saying is our condolences and leave it right there. So whatever else is going to come out later on as far as details, because that's the condition we're in now as a society. We've been conditioned to want to know the details. And the more gruesome, this is how sick we've become. The more gruesome the details are, the better the story sells. Right. So it's not okay anymore to hear somebody passed away. We want to hear how. Nothing wrong with that. But when them come and tell you how, we're conditioned now to say, nah, sir, can't be that. Because so and so say, about 50 stab him getting him back and about 10 gunshots in him headside and the place they burn down and them find him body burn up in there and this we, we want we're we're searching for the gruesome details and it's not enough to just hear you know and say condolences damn they lost a family member yo that must be rough freak that tell me the details no I hear the real I want to go and hear the real story will soon come out the re chill chill and I'm not saying that just because it's Bojo son. I say that for every story. And I say that for everybody. That's why I don't do breaking news. When we first started YouTube, 2015, 2016, we did breaking news. We found out that same year, it's not good to do breaking news because all information does not come out. And you have to be conscious of what you're putting out because people are watching that are involved with the same stories you're putting out. Be conscious of how your message is delivered to the public, the impact that it might have on the family that have to be on the grieving end of this and all that. So when people start to say, boy, so flow, you're taking a fall off, man, because so and so have the real streps because them get the story them first. I said, that's okay. I don't want the story first because there's a broader conversation to be had. I don't want the story first. I'm not trying to do no story. And also, what ended up happening was we had to retract a lot of stuff that we said and come back and tell the people them say, my apologies. The first video we put out, it was wrong. The information was wrong. Here is what really happened. 
I got tired of doing that. So we no longer chase them if you do no breaking news. If you want breaking news, go to the news entities. Go get your breaking news. Everything after that is a conversation surrounding it. If you want to have a conversation, come over here. How it relates to life. How it relates to a lesson that we can all learn from what just happened, etc., etc. How you can be somebody with some empathy. How you can remain respectful. Send out your condolences. That's what you would want for your family, right? Right. So we're going to keep it like that, man. God knows it bugged me. And they're still over there doing it too, you know. Go on over there right now. You know, go look. Go over to Bojo Instagram. Give him some positive vibration. Because as big as Bojo is, no man is an island, no man stand alone. Give him some positive vibration. But look past some of the comments that you'll see. Um, they'll stick out to you because you'll see them. Look on some of them. We grown people, man. Be grown. Be grown. Mr. Bram Bram says, how is hearing what happened going to change that the youth is dead? Exactly. And how is your negative comment going to help anywhere, anybody, anything? Nothing good is going to come of it. Nothing. That's to tell you, say, you're wrong. If you open your mouth and nothing good comes out, you are wrong. You're supposed to you can't look yourself in the mirror as a grown person. If you open, listen, if you open your mouth, type, send out message, and nothing good is intended for or of it, and nothing good comes out of it, you are wrong. You're functioning on a low vibration, and you're wrong. Country girl says, so flow age does not mean maturity. Absolutely, and I know that. I know that. Life Through Erica TV says, we have to remember that we are all humans. Um, try to put ourselves in someone's position. Eat your food. Leave people business alone. Uh, Country girl says, age does not mean maturity, and I hope she's not applying it to where I said, Bojo did Mumbai by at 19, and he's 50 years old today. Uh, are you... For, for those of us who are, well, may not reach that age there yet, but for those of us who are 50 or 40, can you remember when you were 19? Would you still hold yourself accountable as in hold things against you that you did when you were 19 and 20 and 21 at the age of 40, 50, 55, 60? The thing about us is this, right? And I'll close off the whole budget and with Miles. May he sleep in peace and may he be granted access into the land of the ancestors. The thing about us is this. We love to live in other people's past. We don't want nobody judge with our own past. Oh, that's my past. Why are you worried about my past? Right? But we live in other people's past. Everything about them is 2024. Yeah, man, you hear says so and so. Yeah, I mean I like him. When I like him, I want him. Well, in 2007, him did the so and so and so. Well, say 2007, brother, is 2024. The man far removed from where you are. Talk. Yeah, but we still not like him. We expect forgiveness for ourselves. We expect the world to believe that we can change individually, but nobody else can change. Nobody else don't, must, everybody else must be judged by their past. Everybody else must be judged by their flaws. Everybody else must be judged by their mistakes. But you know what? Nobody judge you by your mistakes because it's a mistake. You know what? Nobody judge you by your past. Your shady past. You don't want nobody judging by your flaws, but you do it to others every day. We have to stop. We have to grow. Mature. Do better. All right? And who knows better does better. Since you me know better, 
I'm going to do better. And I'm going to encourage others to do better as well. Yeah. Exactly like through Erica TV. Always waiting for them closet. But what's in yours? What's in yours? You know? Do better, man. And with that said, again, we send our condolences out. And like I said, you know, it's that time. This one was near and dear to me because of them age group there. And the same, something similar happened in my family. And it was my brother. Same mother, same father, brother. Yeah. So, kind of similar. But we'll leave now. We'll leave that now for the family to deal with what I'm have to deal with. And whatever else information comes out, then we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Right? Right. Lulu Ridges says, most people have the Benjamin Button Syndrome. Only some people age. Some don't, no matter how long they live. Getting older is not a progressive illness. Hmm. Uh, listen, let's move on to another one, right? And this one, we'll take it frivolously because we have something bigger to talk about. Shaggy said, on a lighter topic, Shaggy said that dance all as we know it, the old dance hall is over and it's a new day for the genre as he acknowledges and embraces the new sound coming out of Jamaica. Now we're talking about trap dance hall. Remember Bounty Killer said you can't trap dance hall. So I'm going to know this trap dance hall thing. I go, you have trap music and you have dance hall music. But the young youth them say, no, we are going to marry trap to dance hall and we are going to have trap dance hall. And we don't care what the elders them say. We are going to cut with own lane and we are going to make it with it. And Shaggy is now saying that it's actually working for them. It's actually working for them. You definitely don't want anything trapped. That's a bad spell right there. Says Nia TV. Trap dance hall. Yeah, the trap was never good, right? Trap is a dope house. That's where you sell dope from. And you're trapped in the trap. Because you can't leave. You have to stay there and wait for the dope fiends to come to get their supplies. Right? That's where trap comes from. I'm in a trap. I'm in a trap getting money. That's where it comes from. So we took that now. And now we have trap dance hall. Shaggy need to perform only new music. Don't do any hits that made you big. <coughs> Now, this is what I wanted to put in perspective because they're beating Shaggy bad. Me, at first, when I heard the statement, I said the same thing too. I said, first of all, Shaggy didn't really do traditional dance hall. If you listen to Shaggy's biggest songs, they're, uh, it's not, they're, they're not, they're not the, um, they're not the, type of dance hall that when we said dance hall, right? Quite honestly, very rarely I ever go to a party and hear Shaggy song play, Shaggy music play. Uh, and let's be honest, but Shaggy is a household name globally as far as his music. Shaggy is in venues that most of our artists can't get into. He's doing collaborations with people that most of our artists can't have access to platforms that most of our access don't have access to and obviously he's getting to the bag money checks that most of our artists can't get to either right so that speak for itself but that was built over a period of time what shaggy was saying is this <coughs> the uh, worldmusicreview.com has the whole interview it says that Grammy-winning artist Shaggy has declared the end of an era, saying that old-school dancehall is officially over, and it's a new day for the genre as he acknowledges and embraces the new sound that is coming out of Jamaica. Quote-unquote, he said, I think dancehall is an incredibly great space right now. Shaggy begins in a video that was posted on Instagram. He said, I... I think we started the year with a bang. 
I think last year was an amazing year for dancehall because we had Drift. Drift, TJ, which I was happy to be a part of. So I think that dancehall is slowly moving it. Shaggy declares the end of era acknowledges that this evolution brings with it a departure from the traditional sounds of dancehall in the 90s up to the 2000s that once dominated the airwaves, an era where we flourished most as artists. But it's a new sound now, he says. Shaggy explains, alluding to the shifting landscape of dancehall music, one thing we got to understand is the old sound of dancehall that we know, the old style of dancehall that we know, that was very successful, by the way, did its thing. It came and it did its thing. It was the highest point in dancehall. It was that sound. But it's over. That sound is no more. And I don't think people are going to make records like that. I think there is a new sound of dancehall that you are hearing. Shaggy continues to say, hinting at the emergence of a distinct musical identity within the genre. That is the kind of trap type sound that they're making. And they're going to find a way to make it because become more successful to where it starts to chart and it starts to do well. It's a new day. Shaggy declares the end of an era. Last sentiments are a divergence from a previous interview on the Breakfast Club where he expressed concerns over the current state of dancehall back in June of 2021, stating that contemporary artists are attempting to fix something that wasn't broken by favoring trap beats over traditional dancehall rhythms. That's what he said in 2021. And now in 2024, he's walking that back. If you ask the average DJ on a global scale what kind of dancehall will move a party, they're going to tell you that it's 90s dancehall. And the difference between current dancehall and 90s dancehall is the beat. So we've actually tried to fix something that wasn't broken. <coughs> this is what he said in 2021, that we were trying to fix something that wasn't broken by introducing trap dancehall, where we should have kept the ingredients that we had from before. Come 2024, whole different story. It done. Is that the error is gone. The sound is different. Yvonne Wallace says, how come Beres doesn't think that reggae is over? Beres can't think that reggae is over because reggae is very much alive, but reggae is now seen different from dancehall. I describe the music like this, and a lot of people argue, but it's my definition. I describe the music like this. Reggae was our whole music. If the elders will tell you, they will say the place where the music is played is called dance hall, in the hall where the dance used to keep. And reggae was our music that was played in the dance hall. So any music from Jamaica playing at the dance hall space was dance hall music. That's old definition. New definition. Dance hall. Lisa Hyper, Spice, uh, Vibes Cartel, um, of them. If it, I'll, I, 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 and and then reggae would be like Julian Marley and Damian Junior Gang Marley and Issa and um, Chronix and Protege and you know, reggae to me is the well-dressed Empress Menon type sister to dancehall. That's reggae. Dancehall is the unapologetic short shorts, batty jaw, outer door, see-through top. You can definitely see our nipples. 
She's going to dance upon her head too. The beat is more aggressive. They don't give a damn what your opinion of them is. We'll come out for party tonight and not now going to stop it. That's the two difference to me. Right? Philly Yard Vibes say, you put it down. Afro B, take it up. Hmm. <coughs> Philly Yard Vibes, very important, very interesting that you should say that. You know, I think Afrobeats just, the, the ingredients that reggae put down, that Afrobeats took up, was, yes, them take some of the ingredients to build the beats, the rhythms, but for Afrobeats, it's about danceability. It's about partying. It's about feeling good. Now, me and you, we dress up, we go out, we work hard for our money. So when it comes time for party, we, we want party. We don't want to go somewhere where there's a beer screw face up in there and every man in there act like them have a gun upon them. That get me paro. Come actually have one gun. But them in there act like everybody have a gun and, you know, every girl, every girl act like she want a gun, man. And, and that's where we lost it at. That's where I think we lost it at. I think we lost it when the, the, the topic shifted. The diversity ended. Again, we have to bring up an artist like a Vibes Cartel. Vibes Cartel has a song for every situation in life. The man I sing. He my DJ aggressively. He my DJ smooth and soft. He my DJ hard and fast. He have... He has a song for everything. A mother's day, have one for that. You want to fight and kill a man, have one for that. You want to make love to your woman slow, have one for that. You want to fuck a girl fast, have one for that. Like, it, we strayed away from the creativity. And we strayed away from the fun aspect. And it became dark. Now, if you look at trap music... Trap music is dark. Trap music is about getting money. Pardon my language. Money, clothes, cars and hoes. That's the fundamentals of trap music. Money, clothes, cars and hoes. That's the fundamental of trap music. And now we've incorporated that into dancehall. And I call it dancehall, trap or trap dancehall. So the energy is dark. Now on an international level, People don't want to go out to party to darkness. They, they have enough darkness going on in their life. And that's why Afrobeats is winning. What I think Jamaica needs to learn from Afrobeats, because they spent a lot of time telling us this as Jamaicans. We're not, we not messing with the dancehall thing, man, because we, can't, we, we don't really understand what y'all are saying. Because the artists, they're singing in patois. People like to sing to the lyrics of their favorite song. Well, look at uh, look at Afrobeats. Them people they not speak. You, me, I know me can't catch a Burner Boy song. Because me not talk tweet or whatever, the, or Yoruba or whatever languages where him speak, right? But you watch his concerts in all parts of the world. And these people don't speak those African tongues, but them know every word to the song. So if them could have take time to learn all those words to those songs, they sure as hell could have taken the time to learn the words to dance hall songs as well. And dance hall songs were even more understandable. Yes. <laughs> so it wasn't about the patois where you were singing in. It was about the energy that it was carrying. And our music started carrying a dark friggin' energy. And the world is not relating to it whole week dark the bills them are beat me left right and center in there like me a slave from plantation every day me have to get up and go work the money now add up me have problems in my family this that and the other why would I want to go out dress up myself nice and go out this evening if you go listen to beer darkness again I want to go forget this for a couple of hours, I'm locked in this club or this venue where we party in tonight, four, five, six hours. I want it to be four, five, six hours of bliss. Forget my problems. Dance the night away. That's what Afrobeats is doing. That reggae dancehall, dancehall lost. 
And we've been telling them. We've been telling them, stop performing your rotted song them and say the first two words and pull up. Dash with that. On to the next one. I watch Burner Boy them perform the man them sing out one whole song. Them sing out the whole song and have the whole stadium in the whole song. In the whole song. Dancing the whole song. They don't do one line of their favorite song and dash on to the next. Yo, DJ, give me an next rhythm there. That was killing us from the beginning. Then we started having in the last 10 years, a bunch of artists started coming out. Everybody a gunman. Everybody a chopper, scammer, gunman, killer. Me, I'm a dunce brethren them. And the world ain't gravitating towards that, man. The world is not gravitating towards that dark energy. You understand? So with that, it had to go. It had to go. So if we're going to compare dancehall music to uh, Afro beats, Afro beats is on a whole nother level. Not, not only that, not to mention anything that is supported by a whole continent of people. Anything that's supported by a whole country of people, big Corporate entities will put their money behind it. We don't support dancehall. We don't. We never supported dancehall. <coughs> we stopped support dancehall a long time. That's the reason why these big corporate entities, they see it. They're like, ah, it's having a buzz. It's having a TikTok buzz. That's pretty temporary. Can they fill a stadium? You know, can can they... The, how many dancehall artists you know right now that you can push out and say, yep, he could fill a stadium. He could definitely fill a stadium. He can fill the Yankee Stadium in New York. How many? Uh, Live Show Erica TV says, I can't. Real talk, we're more intelligent than that. King Biggs, big up yourself. King Biggs says some of the best times was when Elephant Man had people dancing and people used to dance. Stucky, what you gonna say? What you gonna do? Stucky, what you gonna say? What you gonna do? Stucky, remember that? I like the way you move. I like the way you do. And then you have all upon the river, upon the bank. Pull up your kind of them the cramp in the river, pan the bank, and all these things. Ding Dong was doing the dancing thing. Big up to Ding Dong because it didn't die. It kept going. But our music, ding, people like Ding Dong them, they're the light energy in dance hall. That, that, the balance that's needed, but it's overcrowded with too much darkness and too much dark man and too much killer. Everybody is a killer. Everybody have gun. Everybody wants to marrow fly and bust out head. Everybody have a bag of man around them where all my duns and them a killer. And come on, man. We have to do better. So are we sink it? Now, Shaggy emphasized the global appeal of 90s dancehall and its influence on successful genres like reggaeton and Afrobeats. And he is very much aware of that. Now here's the crazy thing. Out of our dance hall, you know, came reggaeton. Yo, I'm telling you, I'm in Europe, right? <clears throat> and them play two Sean Paul, one Shaggy in the club. This is their dance hall segment. Two Sean Paul, one Shaggy and about one hour straight of reggaeton. And if you ever see how the European them go on in there. And my soul start make me feel like me don't even want to dance because reggaeton comes from the beat dembo and it was known as the dembo rhythm right so remember when time uh shama ranking dembo 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 one on the table me said that him yellow clean rifle me said that shit what that beat there and the beat just keep going, keep going. And it's the one rotted beat going for like, the, you feel like you're stuck in at the beat. We did everything to kill our own um, music. Where did juggling go? That's what, that's, that's one of the secret ingredients from dancehall that reggaeton um, has. 
the juggling. Them used to have one rhythm run for about 30 minutes straight. And about 20 artists depend on the one rhythm. And the 20 artists on the one rhythm sound different. Each artist carried a whole different flow, whole different sound, whole different style. But it was the same rhythm running. Those are secrets that we gave up, that they snatched from us. Reggaeton uses it. Afrobeat uses our BPMs. Shaggy encourages young artists of this time to understand the marketplace and to strive for global stardom, that local stardom. Drawing from his own experience collaborating with Sting. He says the beat itself, they've taken the dance out of dance hall. Listen to that. They've taken the dance out of dance hall. If you listen to the new dance hall now, the style that they're on is kind of like a trap fusion dance hall. No dancing, no night. You go to a dance hall party, people stand up. And yeah, they'll sing the lines, but it's more like a sing-along. It's not a dance-along. More so than a dance-along. And I think the dance of dancehall is what was really appealing to people. I kid you not, all that I just said, I did not read this before I said it. So what I'm realizing as I'm reading this is that Shaggy was basically saying the same thing when me I say. Or I'm saying the same thing that he said. The dancing is gone out of dance hall. And if you look at the streaming numbers, the 90s dance hall is still streaming better than the current dance hall. He also stressed the need for Jamaican artists to recognize the potential for greater success beyond local fame. Spice, who was also present in that interview, echoes Shaggy's sentiment highlighting the importance of understanding the global market landscape and the limitations of focusing solely on some local achievements. Spice's Good Ogne has sold more than 600,000 units in the U.S., according to Luminate, and it is certified platinum in Canada. Why not go down there? The song that she did with Sean Paul, Shaggy, and Spice. Yeah, this isn't stream. This is units moved. 600,000 units in US certified platinum in Canada. The subgenre trap dancehall has dominated Jamaica de um, airwaves, radio airwaves, streaming platforms in the islands for the past five years. With dancehall acts like Skilly Bang, Byron Messia, Skeng, Valiant, scoring record deals and top streaming songs locally and internationally. So far, Byron Messiah and Skilly Bang are the only two that have hit Billboard. Hot 100 at number 99 with Taliban remix featuring Burner Boy. And at 100 with Crocodile Teeth remixed with Nicki Minaj. Crocodile Teeth and Taliban's are both certified silver in the UK for selling 200,000 units each. A glance at the Apple Music charts, you will find that Jamaica, that more than 50% of the songs that are being streamed daily in the island are trap dancehall songs. With, <laughs> with newcomers like Raja Wild having a seven of the top 20 songs this week. It, it's uh, and big up to the new artists, them big up to because you know what the music is revolutionary, right? Music has always been that way. With time comes the change of it's only a matter of time before people start to say it's like getting up every day and eating steak, and steak is your favorite thing. If we were still hearing just a steady pace of 90s dancehall music up to this day. We probably would have been like, damn, somebody can do something different now. So now that the youth them are do something different, I guess I think all they have to do is fix up the context, the content, and mix it in with more traditional as well. 
Like, don't just keep it one sound. That's just my, my suggestion. But either way, as time goes by, technology uh, develops, different sounds come out of it. People are going to want to try something new. Somebody is going to, because they're innovators. Somebody is going to say, ah, we hear that too much already, man. Try something new. Yo, brother, we want to do something where nobody never hear before. You hear that one, yeah? All right, make we go with that. Yeah, all right, put that in there. That's all, That's naturally going to happen, right? That's naturally going to happen. Um, and then, also, with the rise of technology, all the gatekeepers... All the gatekeepers were no longer gatekeepers. They started losing their keys to the gate because the youth them could now reach way overseas. A skilly bang couldn't reach a Nicki Minaj ear from way overseas, right? A uh, Byron Messiah could reach a Burner Boy ear from way over so across the continent. And them said, hmm. We might not have to go through so much red tape. Your people meet my people. We do this, work out contracts, this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's a long, we don't like him. You know, it's, it's no longer about that. We don't like him. And if he's not a part of this crew, and if he's not signed to my buddy over here, and if he's not that, the, all that changed the music. All that changed, it kind of free up the music like a free market. And then everybody was free to express themselves now with different sounds. Sis Afia says, when you go to Africa, enough reggae music is played, mainly clean lyrics, as both young and elder can be present and them dance whole night away. King Big says the content needs to broaden. Them talk about how them whore out people enough. enough. Yeah, and that's my problem. That's my only problem right there. Is the the, the 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 same topic all the time. With tired of it, the same topic all the time. Everybody is a gunman. Everybody I get head now. You know? Every, it, it's just can we be more diverse? Nobody now sing about struggle no more either. You know, everybody arrive rich. Man, just start, just start record music yesterday. I am sing about him. X6 Bima 2024 version. Spaceship a slide pan the highway and these things. There is no levels to his thing anymore. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just coming out of the game rich already. And yeah, them have the biggest guns. Them have the most girls. Them have the nicest luxury cars. Them drive them, them wear the most expensive this clothes and that clothes. Hey boy, 2,500 US for my pants alone, you know. $500 socks, me have on. Oh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I mean, hey, whatever, man. We're, we're in the movie era, I guess. A anyway, I don't, I don't think Shaggy intended anything bad. I think what he said made perfect sense if you look at the whole context of what he said. When I first heard it, I said, here goes Shaggy again. I chat beer foolishness, right? But he made he made perfect sense in the context of what he said. Yeah. And and we need a change. We need a change. We we dance on music. Honestly, if somebody put out a 90s feel album. Right now, it would outdo everything that's out there right now. The thing is, people are moving away from it because that music belongs to a certain group of people. If you're in a dancehall music and you, you said 90s, somebody can say, yeah, I bet you about between 35 and 50. Somewhere in there, say you there, are 40 to 60. Somewhere in there, say you there, right? It's, it's no longer... New feel. Live on the air with SoFlo. Good morning. Morning, SoFlo. Morning. Morning, family. What's going on? Well, uh, it, 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 it touched on a good topic right there, so. Yeah, we're loud, you know, and the energy high, so you have to speak up, because we can't hear you. Yeah, yeah, man, can you hear me? Yeah. 
you play on a good topic right there, so because I read talk. I want to play on radio right now, I I'll be an old school in my playback. And you see, I'm not going into the dance hall, live, live, live ear. No, but them just said, they dr- where? Where play on radio? Where? We, I, I, in a Canada year. Okay, because them saying Jamaica is a uh, majority trap dance hall is playing on the radio airwaves. Yeah, see there. Mm-hmm. But in, in Canada, you're saying it's mostly like 90s dance hall playing? Right. The old school. Hmm. That's what playing. Right. I, per, I, I personally yeah. think that if somebody does a 90s feel of a dance hall, a whole album today, that album would outdo everything that's on the market today. Yeah, exactly. I, and, and if it's able to do that, then we can't say it's dead and it's the end of it. We just have to say people stop doing it. Can everybody trying to keep up with the new thing? You know? Why? I know they did dead, you know. I know they did dead. I keep them I try to keep up with the new thing. So then shelf it and go chase the new thing. That's the what we think. The new thing, the new thing now really at work. So so I said the old school thing around the thing same way. Yeah. So they listen. Because we have a, you know, well, when, they, when they go we go live on the air, radio station in Canada, they have one club where they play at. And then go live on the air on the radio. We listen to it and be a whole school and play. Mm-hmm. So the new thing, right? The new thing, <laughs> here's the thing. You can't tell you them say the new thing now work because me there, I watch some some performances overseas. And the same youth them, they are selling out big venues, my friend. And they are commanding mm-hmm. huge checks to play at big venues. So you really can't tell them nothing. But what they're missing is this, right? Let me put it into perspective. What am I miss is this. There was an era gone by where it seemed like every dancehall artist fly out. Every dancehall artist had a collaboration on foreign radios. Every dancehall artist was top of the line, cream of the crop. Nowadays, we have to settle for one and two making it. You understand? Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, but yeah. they're not seeing that. Exactly. Yeah, they're not seeing that. So, because one and two are make it, them feel like, say, okay, that's where it's at. We're making it. But it, it's, it's not, it's not... It's not hitting like 90s dancehall. Right. Yeah, not hit like so 90s the, dancehall. So right, so that's why so that's why the old song them keep playing over and over. Yes. And that that Shaggy yeah. said the old songs today stream more than the new songs today, anyways. Still. Right. This is why I feel like say if somebody of a reputable uh, anybody who's coming in have a properly produced album today and make it with a 90s dancehall feel. Don't tell people this is 90s and we start put retro and throwback and oldies and these kind of words to the music. And once new generation hear that, they start thinking, eh, that's my mama them music. That's my daddy them music. We need to take the yeah. stigma off of the music, right? Because music is timeless and just make music play. So if somebody actually just cut a whole album and put it out there, watch and see. If it's a dancehall, 90s dancehall feel to it, I guarantee you it would outdo what is out here right now. Right. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. True talk. Uh, 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 okay. All well, right, my brother. Manners. Uh-huh. Yeah. All time music can't dead. Once you hear old school, you got to move. Any which part there. Well, eh, right now, if you hear tingling, 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 tingling. Yard and foreign. Brock, watch and see if you're not start. Ting a ling a ling. School bell ring. Life and fuck a fight for dumpling. Booyaka, booyaka, fasha barang. Come on, man. It, it can't done. 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 It, it, there's nothing they could do to kill it. I'm telling you right now, and I hope somebody hear me who is in a position to do it. Grab one of your artists, them, who has a good voice. I'm going to buy a whole album just for the fun of it and put it out. Dance all 90s style, but don't call it 90s style. Just modern day, nothing. Drop it and see what happened to it. 
I bet you say out do everything we are going right now. Live on the air with SoFlo. Good morning. SoFlo, big up yourself. Manners and respect, family. A long well time, man. Manners and respect. A long time, I try link you know, find from the vibes card that you are going to have a say a year or something that. God no. But SoFlo, listen, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, listen, <laughs> listen. May I try to link you off the ear so you want to wait? Because, yeah. From there, I try to link you. I don't know if how oh, I can link you after the year. Because I want to put something to you. Mm -hmm. I'm the man of the healthcare system. And I want to put something to you. See. How oh, I can link you after the year? So, so. Uh, call me in about uh, half an hour to an hour. All right. Because I'm going to end the live here. I'm going to end the live here in right, about 10 right. minutes, 15 minutes. All right. All right. Yep, so, so. Manners. All right, cool. Reminds our respect. All right. All right. Let me queue up, queue up this real quick there. All right. Okay. So off of the music thing, I, I didn't want to, man, I should have never left this for the last thing this morning, but I wanted her to be in the forefront of our consciousness. So you either put it at the front and do it first, or you put it at the back and do it last. Can that people remember? People get lost in the details in the middle. I don't remember. Right. So our last um Lulu Ridges says I vacation in Scotland and the best reggae music I heard in a long time was in Edinburgh. And it was from young foreigners copying Jamaican style reggae, singing from artists way older than them. Yeah, and that's another thing. We run where left we run where God left our reggae and it well, people have imitated it so much and they have almost perfected the art of imitation of reggae. I'm not talking about uh, dance hall. I'm talking about reggae. So you can go almost anywhere now and hear reggae that sounds really good. Remember Bob Marley did an interview and they asked Bob Marley about the copying of it, imitation of it, and Bob fling back him locks on him and say, well, I don't really imitation do it still enough. It's a feel. It have a feel to it. And that's why many musicians, them hear it, but them can't play it. You know, them, them, them hear it, but them can't do it. See? So you have a feel to it. And yeah, our thing, kind of thing. Well, the world has gotten way smaller. And again, the rise of the internet. Back in, think about this. Back in the day when Bob Marley them was around, you now go hear that authentic reggae until it came to you if you live overseas. Nowadays, them can actually play it 24-7 play videos, even copy mannerisms and movements, zoom in pan finger movements, drum movements, body language, everything, the sonic air sound of the music, study it, study it, study it till them get it right. So now you have Japanese bands that sound like a straight out of trench town them come from, right? Now you have uh, a group of white guys that come from Edinburgh that um, out of Scotland that sound like a Kingston 12 them come from. Same thing. So that's, I mean, that, that time and that era has flew by. It's gone. It's, it's really gone. Yeah. I, the truth of the matter is, let's close out the music segment by saying this. At the end of the day, when we stop valuing what is ours, everybody else will pick it up and shine it off and then present it back to the world and then we are going to act like we're jealous. Kind of like how we do our beaches in Jamaica. We throw a dirty nappy be a big diaper, shitty diaper, use condoms, everything power on beach. And then when time them take it and then privatize it and clean up that section there at the beach. See, we all look through the fence. So over there, so clean, man. It's a beautiful boy, Jamaica, pretty, sir. Right? When we could have actually clean it up ourselves. So what we should be doing is cleaning up our own stuff and beautifying our own stuff for the world to glorify it from our angle. What we do? No. When they are talk about skin out, pum pum, and body in a mouth and suck hood and all that, and the can and bus head, mara fly pan wall, like we can't come up with nothing else. And somebody just quietly come and take it and say, okay, flip this into uh, Afro beats, or we dealing with this sexiness for the night. We dance in the night away, right? And reggaeton, same thing, and left for right, which part we stand with it. Value what we have, or we lose it, and then we're going to watch the world. 
act like a for them. Can't say nothing about it. That part there. Uh, one more call before I go on to the the last topic for the morning. Live on the air with SoFlo. Good morning. Morning, SoFlo. Morning, family. What go on? Hey, I know. I call him for the topic. Hey, hey. Yeah, man. What the music thing, you know? Talk to him. You know? Yeah, man. Enough artists out there make some good songs, you know? See it. But them now nah get the exposure them need. Well, talk about them then. Yeah, man, we are talking about them because I are one of them myself. See it. We are make good song and it's like nobody now gravitate to it. Them who are here, they don't even have the truth and they will shoot up tonight. You know what I say? The slackness and the nastiness the slackness and the murdering. And... So, because me as an artist, it's like when I sing a couple good song mm-hmm. and you know, I get an attraction. We feel like, say, all right, then we have to go sing something nasty up. Yeah. And, because yeah. more want to pay up, more, more to boss. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If the good song, nobody now listen to them and the people who are ball, if the good song now play them or share them now, they nothing. The artists, they go follow what them say I work. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, uh, even calling, I'm going sing a song on the channel and me they get um, a message for you say, yeah, go help me promote it. Mm-hmm. But then if I try to clean, you know, get promoted or what? Are uh, you never link me at SoFloTV no, man, at gmail.com? That's a true, but you know, you did tell me, say, me no need to worry. The next time you start the live, you're going to start the live with the song. Mm. It's a topic you don't talk about where a woman go to Jamaica go dash with her money mm-hmm. and could buy her plane flight back. And then me have a song where I could have relate to that. So I call in and I sing a little piece of it. You know, I say, I say, yo, the song tough. Mm-hmm. And I say, yo, don't worry yourself. Me I go put the song up on the map for you. And you have the song recorded already and everything? Everything. That you did send it to me though? I send it to you in your message. Write uh, what's it in up? the comment section. I send it to your local message and WhatsApp. No, man. The see, that's what I say. SoFloTV at gmail.com. This WhatsApp is so crowded, my brother. I tell everybody this all the time. I'm highly unlikely to see your message in WhatsApp. If you send it to me on SoFloTV at gmail.com, I would have seen it. Okay. Because, all right, even this song I want to build, I build, build, build it for myself, you know. I build yeah. it for the culture. Yeah. Because I see him song I say, yo, White sand on sunny beach, crystal clear water, you know, see it. I mean, say, that's what your bills. You see what I say? Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you don't want me to give you a piece, make you give you a piece. See White it. sand on sunny beach, crystal clear water, you know, see it. Tour blue mountain peak, that's what your bills you are too sweet. Don't river flow so unique. Westmoreland for the best draw weight. Get your passport and come see it. The thing sealed from your drop on my feet. Everybody know Jamaica paradise. We just need a better system and everything will be nice. Everybody know J-A-R-D destination for the best vacation. Nowhere else can compare. You know what I said? See it. Yeah. Hey, but... Se- why you not send me exactly how me tell yeah, you say, send right, me, brother? Right, just listen up. Me, I listen to you right now. So guess what? Me, I send it to you just like what you ask me. So, make me work it out. S-O-U F-L-O T-V at gmail.com At gmail.com S-O-U F-L-O T-V at gmail.com SoFloTV at gmail.com Okay. Yeah, I do that. All right. Yeah, and, man, and, and remember, me talk to you, and me said, me tell you, sir, about the copyright infringement. Something that you said, we can play it. There won't be no copyright infringement, right? Yes. All right. So remember, so, you. All right. Yeah, yeah, so send it, send it. Come give me. All right. May I do that? All right, my brother. So, All so right. yeah, more help you put out some of the good music, then, because when we not get a track, I'm feel like we sing some nasty song. Yeah. I mean, understand so, that too because it's a supply and demand thing. Yeah, and, and, and the artists, them not, uh, can't do it. 
totally for your culture. Yeah. Because they have to do it for them family too. Yeah, and that's disheartening still, but you know, it's a survival thing still. Yeah. Yeah, so I understand but all You know, aspects. there was a time, there was a time when reggae music was the thing we are running place, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't know how it shifts. Why? It is what it is at this point. I mean, you have to get in where you're 15, you know. Yeah. Show sure that. Yeah, you have to get in where you're 15, you know. Yeah, man, but I'm not going to hold up the line too long. I'm going to go and run. All right, my brother, but send it, send it, come this the way I'm going to tell you if you send it here. Yeah, man, just like that. All right. All right. One love. Look at me. One love. All right. Me, I remember the brother, yes, but he never sent it to me the way how I asked him to send it to me. Let me say it one more time. If you ever see my WhatsApp, you would think I need a team to help me with the WhatsApp. Okay, um, I barely check that thing because it's over. And no matter how much we're checking our day, it's like 100 or something come the next day. Next day, another 100 or something come there. So, soflowtv at gmail.com, quickest and best way to reach me. I have to go check there. And me check there, and I'm going to see your stuff. So, anything you send to me, send it that way. If you've been sending WhatsApp, I haven't been ignoring you. It's that I can't get to it. Because it's highly crowded. All right? All right. Near TV says, I was in the group. And when I came out because it was just so busy and it's too full, I couldn't get back in. LOL. See? Near TV. And I told you too. I said it's hard to get out of that group and get back in because it is busy and there's a lot of people in there. And the people in there don't normally just give up their spot like that. So somebody was asking me, so Flo, please get me back in car. Me did. Somebody said something. Me did come out because something. Me couldn't get you back in. I couldn't. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I feel like time me perfectly and, and get in. And usually when the people them get in in there, they don't leave. But yeah, I haven't even checked into the group in a while, which I'll do this morning. But tell a brother just now to call me back in 30 minutes to an hour. So I want to stick to that. So this morning, uh, we are going to leave out of here with... Uh, Somebody on our mind, consciously. I don't know. Shanika, Shanika Gray is a case story that I'm just praying for real justice for this young lady, right? Because what happened to her was so horrible, and it's been dragging on for so long, right? Now, the attorney for Gregory Roberts, the man who was convicted of killing Shanika Gray, is 50, she's 15 years old at the time of her death today. The attorney asked the St. James Circuit Court to consider his client's capacity to be reformed in determining a custodial sentence. So when they're going to sentence you in Jamaica, the first thing, one of the things the judge looks at is, is this person somebody that can be reformed? Or this person is too far gone, too criminal-minded, this is a walking sociopathic individual, psychopath, does never need to come back to society? Or does this person look like somebody who could be rehabilitated? His attorney, of course, is saying he is reha rehabilitatable. I'm saying, me not think so. So Paris, asking the presiding high court judge, Bertram Morrison, to consider between 20 and 25 years as an appropriate starting point for Robert's term of improved imprisonment. I submit that a particular way in dealing with this particular matter, I think it is safe to say, would be within 15 years to life. But certainly, certainly nearer to 20 and upwards in considering a starting point. I am submitting the life imprisonment 30 years would not be an appropriate starting point in this case. This is his actual attorney asking that the judge not start at 30 because 30 years is too much to start at 20 to 25 and work them way back down. Rehabilitation is one of the principles of sentencing and to seek the death penalty somebody is incapable of reform and the court has to be satisfied that that person is incapable of reform. This man, even when found guilty, he is still capable of some form of reform. And it is a question of how your lordship deals with that. There is sufficient basis to find that through this, a horrible murder, it is not the worst of the worst, his attorney added. Now, 
given what happened to this young lady, given the way how they did her, my virgin can't tell me your soft law. Hold the camera. Here. Film this. I may I hold the camera. I may say, what are you going to do? I said, just watch and see, man. I make a sacrifice right now. And let me start. Stab her up. And I stay there and video. You never fling where the camera and run. You never say, Lord God, Jesus Christ, help. When them are drive around the little girl all over the place and raping her in multiple locations, then the man tell her, if he give you some now too, and you take it, then you go to court, go talk about him force her. But for me, she did do it willingly. You're not rehabilitatable. For the fact that they snatched this young lady off the street and did her the way that they did her, not even snatch her off of the street. They actually tricked her because she thought she was jumping in a taxi and going back home. Our grandmother tell her, say, Shanika, I don't want you to go out there on the street because things are run rough right now. You know, see them have taxi man that take away people and all kind of something. Same thing our granny say. Goat mouth, same thing happened to our granddaughter. So she was trying to hurry home. Grandma, I'm just going to go at the funeral, pay my last respects to my friend, and come back home. Well, ended up being her last day. She, the way how they left her, out in the bushes, naked from the waist down, body decomposing, you're not rehabilitatable. Nobody does stuff like that off a whim and then oh but I'm a normal person though it takes an abnormal person to do something like that right so my message ending this this morning to the judge who is overseeing this case <coughs> these are the cases now we know there won't be any death penalty so let's stop talking about that the law lords in England already said that Jamaica can't execute nobody so no matter how you hear DPP or whoever else, we're going to be seeking the death penalty. Them not death penalty as soul. Them just tell us that to make we feel good for a minute. And then you will always hear death penalty taken off the table. So we're not talking about death penalty. But these cases are the cases where I believe life without the possibility of parole should be on the table. Since we're not going to execute anybody. Make it a sentence that reverberates throughout the rest of society. Life without the possibility of parole. That means you will go to sleep here. You will wake up here in this institution every single day of your life. For as long as God allows you to continue to live. Right? And then one day you will just not wake up. Because your heart will have stopped beating. Because you will just be laying there dead. And then and only then. You will be carried out of this institution to be buried somewhere, right? If your family don't want you, we have a papa's grave for you where the unmarked goes and we will just dash you in our hole over there so, and bury you. That has to be the sentence for cases like these. Rehabilitation, impossible. And I hope this judge does not listen to this attorney and talk about Let's start at 25. Okay, and he pled guilty later on. So now we're at 20. And then he showed remorse because he was crying every day. So now we're at 17. Okay, he'll be out in 15 and a half years. That little girl was 15 years old. That little girl never bothered nobody. That little girl was a straight A good student who had a bright future ahead of her. And her life cut short. And all her dreams and aspirations and everything, both for her, herself, and her family had for her, all died right there. They do not deserve anything else other than life without the possibility of parole. And there's no guessing that they did it. Them said them do it. It turns out that they are fighting against each other now. Because one has said, you helped me do it. The other one has said, no, me never help you do it. Me, me, she give me, she give me willingly. You rip her. The next one I say, they, so the two of them do it. So the two of them should equally get that type of a punishment. Remember her name. Say her name. Shanika Gray. And hope and pray that justice be served 
for her. You see, the same way how we keep on saying, remember her name, say her name. How many of those have we said? And then people forget that these young ladies exist. Donna Lee Donaldson. Nobody even says Donna Lee Donaldson's name anymore. And Noel Maitland doesn't go to our trial until 2025. Say her name. Remember her name. Her face is on the icon of this video. Shanika Gray. I guarantee you one thing. This ordeal right here is fresh in the mind of her family members and friends. Fresh like it just happened. Because the court case keeps it going. So say her name, Shanika Gray, and hope and pray that justice be done for her like it was your family member, all right? With that said, it's the weekend. Go out there. The weather is nice in most places. Sorry for my people living at the cold places. Have you some fun. Enjoy life. Tomorrow ain't guaranteed for none of us, right? Yesterday gone, we can't bring it back. Tomorrow not come yet. We have today. Live, live lovingly. Live, live fully. Live good. Go with God. And I'll catch you later on another video sometime soon. Walk good. I'm out. Peace.